so I guess we're starting now. I feel like an elfy boy. I like, there we go. I like that you're like panicking a little bit, even though we've already been on the stream. We've already been on the air. Yeah. Well, now the pressure's been off. Now you got to get into character. <laughs> yeah, in character as the narrator of the show, not even of the game of the show. Welcome to Legends of Laia, a brand new live play Dungeons and Dragons stream from Infinity Break, where we're telling stories our own way. This show is broadcast live here on twitch.tv forward slash Infinity Break Gaming and on our homepage at infinitybreak.net. We encourage y'all to participate in the adventure by taking the time to talk with each other about the show. We'll be paying attention to the story for the most part, but I will keep an eye on the chat from time to time. Before we get started, could you please take the time to share our link around to help spread the word so that more people can join us on this monstrous adventure? Thank you. We appreciate your support. Uh, really quick, just because the show is a little bit new, let's have everyone reintroduce themselves and their characters so that people, people can become well acquainted with who they are dealing with. Uh, I am Mural Valtris, a uh, warlock elf. My warlock patron is uh, some kind of god of chance. Uh, so when I summon my Pact Weapon, I have to roll to see if I successfully summon the Pact Weapon or get something else. Um, he's uh, real funny, real horny, and low-key sad. Uh, I'm Weird playing... You just described me. <laughs> no, literally, when I looked over at the screen, I was like, I'm not on the screen. Guys, I'm not on the screen. <laughs> but you were looking at me? No, and that I thought I was you. I would, like looked down and I was like, oh, like, wait, I'm not wearing that shirt. And I don't have a beard anymore. And I don't have a beard anymore. What's going on here? This is an old stream. Oh, I just have a new face. <laughs> the, the true god of chance is Johnny's brain. <laughs> I mean, that nothing more I true has ever been said. to see if you understand anything that's going on. <laughs> Two. You don't have any idea. It's really I crazy. mean, that's canon. I just said it. <laughs> I just said I have no idea what's going on. Real horny, real dumb. Andrew, please tell us about Andrew. I'm not playing uh, a character. About Andrew or about my character? About Whatever you want. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm Andrew. Uh, I live in Portland, Oregon. Uh, no. uh, I'm what's playing... your place of employment and your street address? <laughs> my social security number is... <laughs> All right, Spider-Man, chill. <laughs> um, I'm playing a drow bard named <clears throat> Shalva Tsarin. Um, she is... Uh, it's she, her, and she's very un trusting of new people and tends to shy away from doing anything that might get them hurt or um, potentially killed. Uh, got her powers in a mysterious way that I'm not going to go into detail about, but um, yeah, I think that's it. My name is Hugo Oshadamin Augustus Robert Anton de Fontaine. I am an archaeologist rogue played by Ben Hamlin. Uh, I have recently spent my, my life and my career attempting to get to this ancient mysterious temple, the Temple of El <coughs> what was the name of this temple? Tiamat. Tiamat. Uh, where I, 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 I took a very fancy treasure that I treasured very much and uh, in the process cursed my arm and maybe my whole body. Who knows? I am being summoned across the entire continent and I have hired these motherfuckers to guide me into the wilderness. Oh god, it's been a while since I've played him. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm Ben. I play Hugo. You... I need not go into all the names. Uh, you may notice that we are missing... If you have watched the show before, you may notice we are missing someone today. Maddie is unfortunately trapped at work. They play a half-orc <laughs> paladin of the crown named Petros, who is baby. Moment of silence for baby. Mm. Also, please use the hashtag hon 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 every time yeah, we Yeah, hashtag hon hon hon. Can we get a moment of awe for our new baby? Oh, Blaine. yeah, we have two Aww. new babies. We do have two new babies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We, we have, have actual <laughs> actual uh, humanoid child and then <clears throat> little tiny displacer cup. It's like, congratulations on becoming a father. So are we child. just writing uh, <laughs> Petros out by me handing them a baby cat and just <laughs> no. going, take care of that? <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. All right. Um, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen and other identifiers, please welcome to the stage your noted monster enthusiast, Nikki Boylan. Uh, welcome everyone to my show, Legends of Laia. This is our fourth uh, session, and uh, we'll just do a, a quick recap uh, to get us caught up and lead us into the game. Unless we have anything else that we need, any other announcements? Oh, uh, listen to the Laimon podcast. Yes, you should do that. And our shows. Yep, and make sure you spread the link so that more people can watch. It'll be good. 
But no, no further ado, so please, no take us ado. away. All right, so last time on Legends of Laia, uh, after a hard battle with the yuan Ti in the ancient temple of Tiamat, the gang managed to rescue the kidnapped dragonborn children and return them to their home, currying favor with the clan leader, Arjur, in the process. Some of you more favorable than others. I got that favor all <laughs> night. <laughs> after um, <laughs> resting for the night, and deciding that the best course of action is to escort no, uh, Monsieur Hugo de Fontaine and the cursed artifact to a museum in El Norte, the party uh, is on their way, navigating the rocky, steep rock faces of the Kylan Cliffs. Eventually, you reach the flat plains near the border of Kylo and the Godless Abyss, where you were nearly trampled by a herd of dire bison. Hmm. You then reach that border of the Godless Abyss and rest for the night. Or, you try to. Watch doesn't go so well. There's a feeling of oppressive darkness, and Shalva falls asleep on her watch. <laughs> and uh, because she does so, the swashbuckling human you are accompanying across the continent and the cursed item that he possesses are kidnapped by an unseen force. In your attempt to find him, you leave Shavala with the cart and climb down into the chasm that is the godless abyss to the bank of the river Styx, a still, murky body of what you can only assume is water, tainted by the essence of evil smell that smells of pollution and rot. You then come across a young tiefling girl being hunted by two displacer beasts. You manage to rescue her, a wendigo tiefling named Sara, and in exchange for freeing her from the godless abyss, she agrees to act as your guide across the chasm, informing you that you must first make a deal with the dockmaster, a funny man and not in the ha-ha way, who requires some kind of payment before he takes you across. You retrieve Shavala and head towards the dock. On your way, you find the orphaned cub of the displacer beasts you killed and adopt it, because of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> Blinks. Upon reaching the dock, you now meet the dock master, an elven-like being with no facial features and ears that curl above his head. He's sitting on the dock with his feet dangling in the water, and instead of speaking aloud, his voice seems to resonate in your head. Ah, visitors. A band of adventurers, it seems. <clears throat> Can I help you? Uh, Nikki, I want to be clear. What's my status right now? You are still disappeared. You are disappeared. <laughs> cool. That means or I can... rather, no one can see you. <laughs> uh, Petros, why don't you take this one? <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm the face. Um. Mural, you take it away. <laughs> Hi. So I think we're trying to get across this river, and uh, is there a boat? There's a raft, um, so you notice that in the river there's a very a large raft, when it seems that can carry carts and stuff across. And it yeah. seems like you have, like, a boat-type thing that could fit our cart. And our friend here, and I point at Sarah, is, uh, is guiding us uh, through the area and brought us here, and now we're here, and you do have a boat. And everything's really coming up mural today. That would seem to be the case. Do you have payment? Um, yes. <laughs> How much is it? Well, you can take this idiot off my hands. <laughs> and you see that on, there's like, kind of on the dock beside you, there's like a, uh, a shimmer in the air. <clears throat> and then a form starts, a figure starts to form. First it's a head with a hat. Then it's a body, and then it's that annoying jerk that you all really oh. damn it. <laughs> and We thought you were dead. I thought it was going to be someone else. Guys, uh, we need him and the artifact if, we wanna, if you want to get paid. Well, I mean, we need the artifact. I just thought we were going to carry his dead body to the place. Still could. As I stumble out of this <laughs> void space, I readjust my hat and go, Zutalors. <laughs> Fear not. I, too, was horrified at the mere chance that I might be dead, but I am here to happily say that I am very alive and also very scared. Where have you been? I know not. I hold yeah. up blinks and hold I go, thought. where have I been? <laughs> You've been in the void. I have been I told in... you this. I... No, I know, I just... <laughs> where have I been? The Don't void. The void that screams back. <clears throat> Big mood. Um... I, I know not where I was or when I was or anything along those. I woke up in a dark and mysterious area of no idea who I am, <laughs> where I am, or what surrounded me. Mm -hmm. All I know is that I was in the infinite abyss of darkness and I was very frightened as if I were a child. 
Uh, I hold up Blinks and I go, we have a new baby. Oh. Am I supposed to be moved? Excuse me. I it's not moved. for you, it's for him. I've met him. I am moved by this. Oh. I do not <laughs> let you take him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no holding, yes. just looking. I... I, I extend my hand, um, you know, little two fingers forward so that it can sniff my fingers and see if I am a friend or not. It opens its mouth, bites on your finger, and just like, but it like doesn't nope, quite I, have its sharp nope. teeth yet. <laughs> so instead it's just like, nom, nom, Gumming nom, your nom, finger? Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Oh, it is. Good, Blanksy. <laughs> it is so cute. It thinks it is a predator, but soon it will be prey. It will never be prey. I take that back. I actually take back what I said. Anyway, we're retconning that horrible comment. Because <laughs> how dare you say that about a tiny little cat? Uh, no, no, no. I, I literally will it's just tentacles. say like... Yeah, all right. So I, for the price of taking this idiot off your hands, I can totally do that. Yeah, that is a cost I can pay, unfortunately. Is the idiot, <laughs> is the idiot standing behind me? Or? Well, it... One out of four people is an idiot. Look to your left. Look to your right. <laughs> the idiot is you. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could do that as long as you take him away. But many an adventurer has tried and failed to cross this. So your only option, really, is me. Unfortunately, you uh, you, you have someone with you who I, I cannot allow to cross. Is who? it the idiot? Because <laughs> I can't take care of him and have him not crossing. I would very much not. not like it to be me again. I was just in the darkness, and I do not want to return. He kind of moves his hand and gestures toward the little tiefling. You're far away from home, and uh, you see, we've been keeping an eye out for you. We can't, we can't let this child leave. Ah, well, adios. I look at Sarah for, like, facial expression she looks horrified oh, never mind um, <laughs> like she, she her, remember that her deal with you was that she would guide you across the abyss in exchange for you taking her out of the godless abyss yeah that's really unfortunate because we have to take the pipsqueak with, with us we had an agreement and actually I don't really... I'm 12 so shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> that especially makes you a pipsqueak <laughs> You proved my point for me. She didn't say that. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I'm 12, so... Uh, yeah, so, like, we made an agreement, and I, I really hate going back on agreements, you know? Like, that's not a good way to run a business. You see, he's about to comment before you hear another voice sound from a few... from about 20, 30, 40 feet away. Um, I don't know how many feet exactly. You'll see eventually. <laughs> there is a voice that sounds, and it's speaking in a language. Does anyone speak uh, Abyssal? Nope. Besides Shavala? Nope. Okay, so I'm the only person who understands. <laughs> uh, you hear a voice speak, and Sara responds in Abyssal. And Shavala looks very perturbed. <laughs> Angry, even. What did they say? It's someone we really don't want to meet. And they point. And you can change... Well, you can't change. Don't change it yet, because there's spoilers, I guess, on it. But, um... And you turn, and you see a figure. Very tall, very... In a cloak. Um, a long cloak with long, skeletal fingers... And what seems in a quarter staff uh, in his hand, and notably, you, it's he seems to be some kind of demonic being. Um, you notice that he has pointed ears, but instead of the horns of a tiefling, he has that same uh, skull, animal skull on his face that has formed instead of what a normal what a normal tiefling would look like with long antlers and, uh, like, skeleton, like, bone hands instead. <laughs> Can we give it up for Nikki's monster descriptions? <laughs> Take advantage. Nice. <laughs> I'm the DM. I'm giving myself inspiration. 
and instead realizing that you don't understand him he instead speaks in common you shall not pass <laughs> god damn it gandalf <laughs> ian get out of here uh why you have something that belongs to me no i look at everyone no no we don't have anything he point he raises I his hold. finger <laughs> Blink he raises stuff. his finger and points at Sara, and out of the ground, these uh, this cage made of earth just springs up around her, and Petros, in an attempt to try to protect her, uh, jumps in front of her, and instead of just getting Petros or her, it instead in grows and envelops both of them. <laughs> and uh, so they're trapped, <laughs> both of them. Sorry, Petros, at least I didn't suck you into the void this time in order to torture your character <laughs> you just can't fight <laughs> well, sorry buddy and um i will be taking this back now uh that belongs to us both of them especially the bigger one <laughs> especially the baby <laughs> His baby. you choose to defy me i mean I have to if you're trying to take my baby. Who? What's your name? Like, we don't even know who you fucking are. Hang on a second. Like, you come into my house. Your house. And cage my friend. <laughs> Z. And then are like, oh, you defy me? Like, no, you're defying me. You are, you started the defying. You're the defiler. The defiler. I would take that as a compliment. I kind of hoped you would. <laughs> You're so uh -oh. tall. <laughs> oh, how tall are you? How tall are you? I don't know, like six four with horns. <laughs> with the horns? You're, with so, horns, you're funny. so funny. funny. <laughs> Mona me so is a time in their place. <laughs> <laughs> That's still my favorite joke about Johnny. Oh, with the horns, you're so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> Hey, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> and oh, I want to die. <laughs> Shavala seems to be uh, angered by this presence of this this being. It steps out, and uh, two intense balls of energy form at their hands, and they throw two eldritch blasts uh, in a surprise at the creature. Um, both of those. Wait, who threw Eldritch Blast? Shavala stepped out in front of you guys and threw two, and like out of nowhere, just threw two Eldritch Blasts at them. And it hits the this this Wendigo tiefling like in the chest and sh makes him move back a little, but he seems to have formed some kind of barrier around himself to kind of lessen the blast and out of anger uh, steps forward. I thought I'd seen the last of you, but it seems... But chasing you out of here wasn't going to do enough, and instead, you wander back into my territory, into my home, and defy me. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Yeah, ah! Let's fuck this guy up. I have been in a bubble of eternal darkness for quite some time. What the fuck is happening? Fuck if we know. Ah, okay. This I'm glad asshole showed up. And this, is a, this is at least a mutual conflict. Yeah, this asshole showed up, and there's also this Wendigo. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> straightens his invisible tie. <laughs> I was worried that perhaps I was missing something, but it seems we are all confused as teats. No, no, I, I know exactly what? what's going on. Confused as teats? Tits, I said. Uh, that being said, I got like a nine. I got a 17. I got a nine, also. Squalled. Ooh, you're oh. on his team? Off screen. Stop being so mean! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just hate humans and French people. <laughs> oh, Apologies to... Eh. <laughs> it's not any more offensive than my actual voice in this game. Oui, oui, mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette. Hugo, oui, oui, ha, ha, baguette. Hugo, I guess I should have been Roberto Tomé Ponte. Oui, oui, ha, ha, baguette. Do you want me to switch the maps? Yes. Uh, well, not... Yes. 
So, <laughs> which, um, well, not yes. Which well, European country do you hate the most, listeners? Let us know in the comments. Um, Please so don't. this, uh, Cheval actually gets to go first. Um, 23. Boom. Finally, Cheval rolling above a 10 initiative. Thank you. It's almost like nice, finally. they knew it's that almost we like needed help. The, it's almost like Warlock. Being a warlock, you're cursed to roll low initiative rolls. That's just warlock culture, baby. Except for we both rolled high this time. Man, now I feel like I'm not warlock enough. <laughs> I love my token on here. You? Yeah. Which token is my token? You're here. Ah. Warlock culture <laughs> is being gay and rolling low in initiative. Are those fish? No, you'll see. God damn it. Um, that's a surprise for later. That's a surprise <laughs> for soon because he gets to go second. So, um, Shavala um, steps forward again and their hands are clenched into angry fists still brimming with this dark necrotic eldritch energy. Um, with their pa the power of their patron surrounding them. It seems like the emergence of this figure has turned them into formerly a being who seemed to not really care about much of anything and just was there for the ride. Yeah. To someone who is out for blood. <laughs> and... My lord, it looks like they are out for blood. <laughs> Very observable. He... And they look at um, this creature and they say... This time, Rivik, I'm going to kill you. And who's Rivik? <laughs> I wonder who that could be. The only other being whose name you don't know standing right in front of you. Well, I've been playing this game where I mistake everything they say for being this guy. So, Rivik. <laughs> Rivik is the name of the Wendigo tiefling. No, I I got that. I still yes, was Rivik. mistaking everything that they said for being Hugo. So, I just wanted to continue the pattern. I mean. <clears throat> Uh, just kidding. I, I just <laughs> it was way better that you didn't. That was... Selling your soul for a cool D20, a D10. Uh, not just that. Can trip. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Um. And they. Um. They lift their finger, and a str and a like what looks like a lightning bolt but catches on flame as soon as they throw it and they just throw a firebolt at the Wendigo Tiefling, this uh, Rivik. It seems that in their anger they're having a hard time having aim and they're slightly beyond a range that they would like to be and the firebolt just uh, careens by the Tiefling's face and um, he reacts immediately with uh, his own. He reaches into his into the long uh, sleeves of his cloak and pulls out a twig that is charred um, as if it's been struck by lightning and moves his hand across it and throws his hand out and in, there's a um, a bolt of dark necrotic energy that shoots out as he casts Witch Bolt at Shivala. I don't like this guy. Yeah, get rid of him. Where is Hugo? That, that's gonna hit. Yeah. Uh, for 1d12. Oh, I have to add you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we, we, where is me? <laughs> Hang on just a second. Let me add you. Let me pull up my new friend, uh, my, my new favorite website, my new best friend, Google Translate. <laughs> Google.com. Translate.google.google. You're here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's a D12. Not much, though. So uh, it zooms towards Shavala and just 
kind of nicks them in the shoulder. Um, it doesn't seem to do much damage, either because maybe the spell wasn't that effective, or maybe Cheval is just really, really pissed off. <laughs> you know. <sighs> Cheval has entered a rage. How would be. Okay, uh, next barbarian. is uh, Shalvan or... What was your yeah. initiative? Thir- 17. So you're next. Yay. Um, is the blood elf still around? Or the f- featureless dock worker? Yes. The dock master? Yeah. Are they on the... He, yeah, he's uh, he's at the end of the pier. Gotcha. He doesn't uh, seem to be engaged. I was about to say, does he seem hostile? <laughs> he's just watching this as if he's just very fascinated by a very good movie. Cool. <laughs> Um, Such is the nature of cosmic beings, I think. And then the enemy is the far... The, this, the Wendigo. The far left one. Yeah, here. If you would, yeah, marvelous. Um, I am going to scooch one square towards the wagon. Back or here? There. In front of, in yeah. front of Shala? Oh, no. Because if she wants to I'm cast good spells... I'm uh, in front of me. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to be able to cast damage. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so hey, let me let you on a little word of advice. Standing in front of Andrew's characters... <laughs> we'll get you killed. We'll get you harmed. That's weird. I've never played with <laughs> any of like, Andrew's we'll get, we'll get you what? Harmed. Oh, I think you um, said hard. We'll get you hard. Can I move, in like, the on top of the, the uh, unmanned <laughs> trellis thing at the front of the wagon? Since there's no horses, like south one more square. South one more square here. Yes. Like in between the. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, in there. Just so I'm not in front of uh, another damage dealer. Right. Uh, and with that, damage I'm going to. Quotations on that. <laughs> I'm gonna eldritch blast. Okay. Um, so that is one that's almost certainly not going to hit. What is it? Uh, I rolled a two. Okay, yep, that doesn't hit. Uh, and then the other one is a... Man, I am out of practice. Um, uh, while you're calculating that, our... 18. Yeah, that hits. Yes, and that is going to be for 12 damage. Uh, our our lovely friend uh, Sailwat is live blogging uh, on Twitter. Which is <laughs> why, uh, quote: I just imagined Hugo as Ben, but with a curly mustache and white. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I picture myself with a little Robin Hood hat with a little twing feather, but um, yeah, beret works too. It's not up to your interpretation. D and D is fantasy. Is he nonsense. wearing a turtleneck, <laughs> like a black turtleneck? That's gonna. Be, if there's ever like a time jump five years in the future, I will be a turtleneck, <laughs> little beret. Just do you remember the good old days. <laughs> time it has been cruel to us all. I feel <laughs> like it's really sad if the good old days were traveling with four people who hate you. <laughs> I was so popular. They were, <laughs> they were always talking about me. <laughs> what, what were they saying? Oh, not good things, but. <laughs> I said I was popular, not that it was. You know, insult is the most sincere form of flattery. That's true. I find when people hate your guts, it means you're doing something right. Any <laughs> publicity. And you sound good so publicity. French when you say that, and not the accent, but what you just said. Thank you. I. I found that when people are saying bad things about you, it means you've done something right. <laughs> oh. Okay, is that all for you? <laughs> Yes, Tara's right to bring up a mime suit. I should, it should be a striped shirt. There it is. <laughs> I just remember in the, in the abyss. So you notice that. So as soon as you, so your Eldritch Blasts um, go out and one of them just flies right by him, just completely mm. off base because you just moved. You're having a hard time getting a vantage point. But the other one hits him directly on. And as it hits him, his eyes just go black. Uh, you can see, like, this energy coming from the eye sockets in the skull, where you can't really see the eyes, but you know that they're there because there's, like, a pulsing, glowing energy. And there's, like, a roar that sounds from deep in their throat, 
and they um, move forward and out of them comes this barrage of cold energy, these ice daggers ah! um, that head right towards you. Ah! And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Ah! God damn it. Uh, that's going to be a 17. You save. So... Nah, it appears we have lost our television again. Again, yay. What Let's is that? Oh, weird. Yeah, I'll take care of it, don't worry. So you take five points of cold damage. <laughs> it's so cold, they should have brought a jacket. Are you still holding the blinks? Yes. Canonically in one hand. <laughs> it's like, no. I could have fully dodged that, but I took damage to save Blinks. <laughs> what does it say? We need to get shout outs on the stream. Oh. <laughs> it's because we love you. <laughs> like a cold snap just going up my spine and back down. Hugo got cold damage too. <laughs> oh no, I have been wounded. <laughs> okay. By uh, emotions. I think I, I skipped Rivik's turn. Accidentally. Um, so, after that reaction, he will try. It's so cold. <laughs> stop, stop reading my, my Google Translate prepared messages. Sure, buddy. Sure. I didn't know how to pronounce that anyway, so I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> it is um, so cold. He, after this cold energy comes out and hits you and there's little tiny crystals of ice, but like they're not clear ice. They're just they're like black ice, um, clinging onto your clothing, onto your you're wearing armor. Right. I just got this dry cleaned. Well, now it's cold cleaned. <laughs> now it's cold, fucking cold. Like it's not cleaner <laughs> because it's cold. It's just cold. It's just cold. You are a master of language. <laughs> they lift their hand and raise it in the direction of the water that is by you and the still surface starts to shift and move and slowly these three figures rise from like that scene in pirates of the Car in the of the caribbean you know okay uh. so like they come up and there's like they're skeletons and they're still wearing these vestiges of armor that they had in life and leather dripping off of their bones and it's like one of them has clearly Two of them have clearly died a long time ago. Their bones are bleached, the sockets in their skulls, everything is old. But the other one seems to not have been dead for so long. There's still decomposing flesh um, falling off of the bones where you can you can see like the ribs and everything through uh, the flesh that's just crumbling off of them. And with their armor, they start to um, to shamble towards you guys. The water by you? I thought it was a river. Oh! I was, I was trying I to like think of... I would like you to take damage. <laughs> anyway, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. <laughs> I was, the second you said that, I was like, don't say it. Don't say I it. kept trying to think of, like, a bayou joke for you having a French accent, but, like... <laughs> the first one moves and clambers onto the riverbank and is right next to Hugo and you, on you got that one. bye Hugo it was <laughs> not nice knowing you man, wait 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 wait. say that again sorry uh it climbs up onto the riverbank by he where you are Hugo ah I am dead and it's by you it it's <sighs> bones crack as it lifts up its old rusted short sword and it swings at you okay oh no is it the Norse other French sounds. <laughs> uh, does a 16 hit? I don't know your armor. Class. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it does. Oh, look at that. It does. Okay. So that is... You take three points of piercing damage. Yikes, you're right now. Ah, step back, you decrepit bastard. You never leveled up, did you? I super did not. <laughs> Four, yeah, I, I realize. I'll fi I'll I will literally fix that right now. Okay. Um, stay so back, you decrepit bastard. I say. Its arm is 
you hear the crack of its bones as it swings its sword at you and slashes through your arm and there's just there's blood slight coming from this wound that they barely managed to no that's okay I got it <laughs> 5, 10 I'm so done with that just roll 2 oh, thank you well anyway. the other one kind of shambles forward closer to uh, Shalva no and also uh raises its uh this time it has more it's more of a it's a short sword but it's just has it has jagged edges as if it's been hewn against really jagged rock that's caused it to become dented and it swings out at you hey can you not do that yeah this is me <laughs> i got no problem with you bro how's yeah. a does a 14 hit? That does not hit. We have, as you're saying. It's Wait, swings. let me make sure. <laughs> no beats. Sure? Nope, that hits. <laughs> okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure your AC is really low. <laughs> I thought it was 16 for some reason. It is 13. <laughs> so you take six points of piercing damage. Um, I would prefer not to. And it, it swings out the sword at you and just catches you right across the chest, cutting into your uh, cloak. And drawing blood. The other is 5, 10, 15, 20, right. 25, 30. It uh, moves and takes a space right in front of you, about 15 feet away from Shalva, and stands in front of the, um, 25 feet in front of the Wendigo wizard, who is manipulating these undead. And uh, that ends his turn. So, uh, Shalva and Hugo, who goes next? I will. Uh, go ahead as I continue <laughs> to level up my character. <laughs> I genuinely... Because it was at the end of the last session, and then I went on vacation for like three weeks. So uh, I kind of forgot. You so... never on vacation for a few weeks. Oh, look at Ben. He gets vacation. I didn't go on vacation for the full <laughs> three weeks. I meant I was on vacation while we did the next stream, mm -hmm. so I wasn't... I haven't played Hugo in a bit. <laughs> um... I am going to cast uh, Fairy Fire and get the try to get the three skeleton boys. Okay. Um, so they need to make dexterity saves. What's the save? Fifteen. Nope. First one uh, does not save the one. Which one? Uh, I'm, I'm hitting all three of them. Okay, so... It's a 20-foot cube, so I should be able to get all three of them with that. Be like... Right there. Okay, so uh, the one in blue doesn't save. That one does. Uh, the purple one does. And that's a natural 20 for the red one. Man. Okay. So the one in blue misses. What is it? Fairy fire? Uh, it is fairy fire, so it is glowing faintly... Um, let's go with uh, let's go with a green light. It is faintly outlined in green light, and anyone that attacks it has advantage against it. All right. Um. So that's this. So it is glowing green. Actually, it's a blue dot on it. So let's say blue. That makes sense. Real quick, it's an ability score increase. Is that just plus one to something? It's plus two. You can do plus, one, plus two or, or two plus, plus ones. Yeah. Or, right, a, or a feet if you wanted to do that. Thank you. Um, I appreciate your input. I don't know input. which one indicates advantage of any kind. So I'm just going to say this. That means that you have advantage on it. Nice. I threw mud at it. <laughs> and it just hits it in the rain. It's like there's like it's, mud. Can't see there's now. no mud in this cavern. It's all dry, crackly <laughs> stone. But somehow you, I guess you. I made my own mud. Like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I always bring my bag of mud, but my bag of mud with me wherever I go. Sure. That's your <laughs> mystical item. <laughs> Did you roll a one for HP? No, you got it. Okay. No, no. I um. Good. I forgot so I wrote, Hugo. sorry, I forgot I wrote fantasy Floridian on my uh, on my background. Um, okay, so I have recently been attacked by that uh, skeleton man. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, then I'm going to draw my rapier and I'm going to attempt to fence it back into the water. Attacking, I guess. 
Yes, that's... Can you push it back? Well, like... Do you have an ability that can push it back? No, through gentleman's fencing. So you're stabbing it. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead and stab it. You have advantage. I guess it's probably not concerned yeah, about getting stabbed. Yeah, and you have advantage stabbed. on this roll. I guess it's not concerned about getting stabbed because it's uh, super dead. It's also a skeleton and... Yeah. Yeah, yes. so that's not super going to work. Uh, that'll be 17 plus You can five. roll again just in case you get a nat 20. Advantage. Okay. Well, I didn't, so... so uh, that that'll makes... be 22 in total, and then my damage was, of course... Uh, 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 uh. Don't forget about sneak attack. No, he doesn't get sneak attack because it can see him and he's not flanking. He has advantage. Oh, that's true. If It's just if you have advantage on the roll, so yeah, you yep. get sneak attack damage. Do I? Yeah, yep. it's as long as you have advantage on the roll. You yep. have advantage or if someone is flanking. Even though I'm directly ahead of it and yeah. everything? If yep. you're flanking, you have advantage on the roll. That's why yeah. you can't yep. Well, why did I get advantage? Because, because of fairy, of fairy fire. fire. It's glowing green. At the, Thank glowing, you. Glowing blue at the moment, actually. I was live tweeting during that moment. Um, I appreciate you. I, I have to do marketing. It's my job. Okay, uh, I have 2d6 uh, sneak attack damage now. So, Or I actually, I already did, but whatever. Uh, that'd be 11 points of damage in total. Or excuse me, 11 plus 1, so 12. I'm more powerful than Eden. <laughs> Fucking rogues, man. Rogues, man. You um, you take your, your gentleman sword and you <laughs> move forward sword. and it just goes like right into its rib cage. Mm -hmm. And as you move it, it like cracks its ribs. And they like just pull apart and it kind of falls to the side as if it, it can't like hold itself up very well on one side but it's still like trying to get you with the sword <laughs> <laughs> but it's clearly like starting to fall apart like you did a good chunk of damage to it uh, that brings us back to Shavala okay so Shavala's pretend I had a really come back I don't know Shavala saving us <laughs> we do so little damage <laughs> you're basically a demigod <laughs> thank you I am not no. Right, you I don't know, you bastard. melted those bars in the first episode and I'm still really impressed. What? <laughs> I said you melted those bars in the first episode and I'm still really impressed. Oh, thank you for being impressed <laughs> by me. Anyway, you ugly bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so tall, Shamal. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Well, my, am, I, don't know, like, I don't know, like 6'1", 6'3", with the ears. <laughs> with the ears. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> Is anyone here not wearing armor? Um. So I, I was going to ask you about that when it got back to my turn. Um, up, because will. so I can cast mage armor at will. Yeah, yes. me too. That's what I was asking. And that anyone. is my armor. Yeah. Um. So... How long were we traveling after that combat thing? Because it lasts for like eight hours. Do I need to cast it again? Do I still just have mage armor? I would say you still have mage armor. Beautiful. So it's still 13 plus four. Okay. Um, they... Um... What are you going to do? I hope, I hope that's picked up on stream. Mm, I'm sure. That's oh, Shavala, what are you going to do? Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> um, Everybody get down. Something in the back of my mind is telling me to stay away from this. Is it an so, Eldritch Blast? So, <laughs> in the back? So, I don't know what you're... <clears throat> so, okay, they have a lot of awesome shit that they can do at, a, at will, so... I, I like the idea, I like the idea of Hugo Fontaine having a weird meta psychic connection with Eden in another universe. I specifically <laughs> encourage that. That they can't communicate with each other. There's just like a deep like ancestral sense memory <laughs> that tells him get the fuck away from that. I like the idea that uh, De Fontaine is the, the, the Eden. bizarro Eden on a like really strange plane of existence. If Eden didn't have anxiety. <laughs> no, it's like if like this is you know a completely different world, so it's yeah. not even like the same world on a different plane. This is just a completely different plane, but like Hugo uh, is Eden, but on this different world and a, born in a different place with a different upbringing, but they are the exact same soul. <laughs> they have the same soul serial number. <laughs> okay, I'm the cosmic string holding them together. <laughs> So, that and a fear of Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
a real fear. <laughs> I didn't say irrational. It's a very rational fear of Eldritch Blasts. We are, we are all fear Eldritch Blasts. I do love the comical pattern of, like, Eden just always takes the ones for the Eldritch Blasts. Yeah, I love it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoot and a half. The same social security numbers. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, you see, um... Shalala... Where we are. Um, puts their hand on their chest, and the uh, air around them shimmers, and slowly they just start to disappear until you can't see them at all. What the fuck? Shalala bailed on us! I'm gonna run away. I'm still invisible. I don't know how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna use this for invisible. You can't see me. No one can see me. <laughs> John Cena. John Cena. I'm sorry. I meant to write 2d6, not d26. I think you should go d26. You need to go get a d26 dice. Can I borrow your d24 for my That's not attack? a 26. All right, Mural. That's close enough. You're up. Okay. Um, this is a big ask. As a free action, can I set Binks down inside of the wagon? That's going to be a move action. Part of your movement. Part of my movement. That's fine. As okay. long as I can move two squares afterwards, I think I'll be fine. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Because you're right. I'm literally like, that's why I moved onto the cart was specifically Oh, okay, to... yeah, then you don't need to move. Beautiful. But it'll take, I'll say it takes five feet of movement action to get out of the cart. Beautiful. That's fine. Yeah, so I set Binks down in the cart, and I use my free action to pat him on the head and say, it's going to be okay, baby. <laughs> I'll make you some dinner after this is over. He waves his little tentacles like he's... <laughs> I use my bonus action to appreciate him. <laughs> <laughs> he is very appreciated. Um, he gives you a, a like a, a growling purr. God damn it! I love him so much. <laughs> he is not him. even real. And I'm gonna move three squares south. Benjamin C. Hamlin rolls to fall in love with that cat. Oh my god! Like here? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast the fuck out of the red skeleton. Okay, roll. Oh, um, so one of them misses because it's a four. The other one was a natural twenty. Nice. Roll for damage. And I already nice. did, and it is thirteen. Or no, I'm sorry. So nine times two is eighteen plus four is twenty-two damage. Nice. You um throw your eldritch blast. The first one whizzes over and knocks its old ancient helmet off like a helmet you haven't you haven't ever seen in your lifetime even though you're an old elf you're really old <laughs> i'm very old you're very old you've never seen that kind of helmet before it's ancient um the second one just hits it straight in the chest and it, its ribs just it like goes inside the ribs like br blasts into it and just like makes it explode from the inside and the bones just go pff, pff, everywhere and they clatter to the ground and it just falls with its armor beautiful thank you for your live tweeting so well so i love you <laughs> and i want to kill i'm you. pretty sure that the how that skeleton died is like the plot of a purity ring song <laughs> cut open your sternum and pull your little ribs around me <laughs> what johnny what the hell Seriously, listen to Purity Ring. They're one, the greatest musical artist of our generation, and two, super cute, and three, super dark. Yeah, no shit, I gathered. They set, they sing, like, really happy songs about being in love, but they use really dark descriptors, and that is my aesthetic. <laughs> okay, um, so that means it's Revic's turn. Is that all for you? Um, yeah, that was your action and your That's my action, action my movement, my and bonus. Blinks. My bonus was appreciating Binks. Blinks. Blinks. So. Um. Seth Pose in the chat uh, says, our RT purity ring good. Presumably that's our uh, retweet. Yeah. 
So that purity ring is dope. Rivik glances around for Shavala, um, but as Shavala is invisible, cannot see them. Uh, sees their sees his skeleton crumble before. Then locks eyes with Shalva. No, <laughs> don't lock eyes with me. I look hands. away. I look away. He's still looking at you. <laughs> he can't see me if I can't see him. <laughs> no, that's not quite how it works. Indeed. <laughs> roll a perception way. check. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I roll a deception check? <laughs> and, you don't see me. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, raises his hand with uh, his fingers pointed at you. And sh- uh, just these, and uh, shoots three missiles towards you. Magic missile, go! Wow. <laughs> so he has to roll the hit. Uh, Wait, magic is... missile doesn't roll the no, hit. No, uh, you, it just hits automatically. I forgot yep. about yep. that. Yep. Um, so it's... I'm not the tank. <laughs> so that's four plus five. Oh my god. Uh, somewhere in another universe, Derek Nine, Pennier, 11, remembers 12. to drink So you water. take 12 points of... 12. <laughs> force damage. Ow. I forgot that we made it canon that, De- uh, that Derek, Derek can see the chat. Yeah. <laughs> no, can see the whole chat. Like, it's in the book. <laughs> somewhere in another universe. So that really hurt. Ow, poor you. I feel like that's the most unique thing that a D&D podcast has ever done is made it canon that a character could see the Twitch chat. Oh, I thought you meant hurt an elf. And I'm like, uh, no, that happens pretty frequently. After they, after he shoots his bolts at you, he, his hands come up in kind of um, a defensive position and the quarter staff hovers just right nearby him and it's glowing with like this dark uh, necrotic energy and around them is also this energy building around their form well i hate so, that uh next is shalvin hugo who's going next hugo first um i am still sword in guts of that skeleton yeah is it dead no that i i go to cut off the head all right roll Do it. Hit. with advantage yep with advantage oh yeah uh Holy that would be one the first time and then 10 the second time uh so 10 plus misses. i believe Oh, keep going. Ten plus five, I believe. Oh, yeah, then you hit. Yeah, Very five. Well. Um, oh, thanks for, for squashing my confidence just a little bit. Uh, do I get the sneak attack bonus? Yeah, hell yeah, you, you do. Oh, yeah, I do. Hey, I like this combination. <laughs> you, okay, the 20 nerds cast very fire. You don't even need to roll damage. Yeah, we're going to keep doing that. No, I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, that would be nine plus seven, so 16 plus... One, so 17 points of damage. As I just, I'm going to go straight for a beheading swish of the rapier. You dramatically dra- pull your sword out and swoosh. You cut through its neck and like, it just goes right through that area where the bones would meet. The little bits of bony sinew that's holding its spine together. You just cut right through it and its head falls to the ground. And then the rest of it just stands there for a moment. I let out a quick, I'm so fucking fancy. And then it just, almost comically, just, <laughs> clack, 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 to the ground. And it is dead. I, I shout out, okay, now do this one, do this one. And I point to this other skeleton. <laughs> Mon ami, I will be right there. I say over to to um, whoever you are. Whoever I am. What's um, your character's name? Shalva. What's your character's name? Shavala. <laughs> Shalva? Shavala. Yes. It's intentionally confusing. <laughs> yeah. It it's is. Like if it's a drow char- thing. All right, so the next... characters like John and John. Before we Jay-Hon. do that, I actually have the skeletons in the initiative order here. Or 18 I Jerry's. So, last one is going to uh, try to... It's going to, um, again, try to hit. It moves forward a bit faces Shalva and s- swings out and it's like as it swings like this is the one with the rotting bits of flesh oh, gross. as it swings like there's like a chunk of skin that goes flying as it swings out at you thank you for referencing Alan Alan and Alan can I, pirates. can I make a deck save to dodge that chunk yes <laughs> <laughs> that's a 14 plus something I'll say that uh, you it 
goes whizzing past cool. your cheek, but it cool. still smells pretty good. Because uh. it also has been, like, waterlogged. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing a 20 is going to hit. <laughs> yeah, a 20 is going to hit. It's not a natural 20. A 20 is going to hit. So that's seven points of slashing damage. Or oh. piercing damage, I guess. Piercing damage. Cool. So it, cool. Uh, it again, it as it wildly swings at you with the clack of its bones as it moves and the flesh flying by your head uh, cuts right into you. Drawing blood. All right. Uh, I, I look like shit, y'all. Shalva. I look really, really shitty right now. Shalva, um, no. Um, yeah. I had a plan, but that plan has gone up in flames. So instead... I live to defeat plans. <laughs> <laughs> so does this thing, does this skeleton have armor on? Mm-hmm. Is it metal armor? Uh, it's padded armor. Are you sure it's not metal? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> no, it's padded leather. Oh. Does it have metal on <laughs> No, and it's like rotting scraps of leather armor. Man. And it has algae grow like growing on it. So it's less armor so much as formerly armor? <laughs> yeah, but it adds to its AC anyway. That's... Armor scraps. Um, I'm gonna... Do you allow a uh, five footing away, like... You can make a yeah. five foot step. Yeah, can I do that... Actually... That's gonna be your... your yeah... I'm going to stay right there and just heal myself. Okay. As a second level spell because ow. Poor Shalva. Petros! Petros has been struggling this whole time, but... Where is Petros on the map? The bottom uh, right. right. Oh, here gotcha. With Zara. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I cast Cure Wounds at a second level and regain 14 HPs. I'll rescue you, baby. <laughs> Um, and then I am going to, uh, I don't really know where Meryl went. So I'm going to turn over towards Hugo and say, hey, human, do something useful and give you bardic inspiration. <laughs> I take my bardic inspiration in the form of an insult. So. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the first time you've taken an insult as an insult today. You're learning. <laughs> so where you can't put my specific pronunciation of that word as a bumper sticker or a t-shirt i use my bonus action to appreciate him we all use our bonus action to appreciate him we love the tiny kitty uh so bark inspiration what does that do for me you can add a d6 to an attack or an ability save uh, an attack oh. ability check or saving throw so an attack roll yeah lovely uh, and that's my turn. Okay. And then I'm going to sit right there and hope that Hugo kills this thing by flanking it. Okay. You you already went this time? Mm, I haven't gone in a bit. Okay. I don't know. No, you, you killed that skeleton. You, yeah, you killed the you. skeleton, then uh, Shalva went. Mm. No, no. Well, right? Hugo killed the skeleton, then the skeleton went. And yeah, because I put it in the initiative order right. because I forgot. Oh, right. so it is not my turn. No, no. it is not okay. your turn. You already went. It so is remember Shavala's turn. Having bardic inspiration for next time. Yeah. You can mark it on your character sheet. No, I'll give you a d6. <laughs> That's how you choose. remember. It. Okay. Uh, Shavala is still who is still invisible. Moves five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, around mm. behind. Yeah, big sexy. Mm. <laughs> this is gonna be. And uh, drops the invisibility spell. And um, they lift their hands and move their hands together, and like the this dark necrotic energy that they hold in their hands just forms uh, into a, a like a twisted handle, and then a long, dark blade that like Star Wars doesn't exist in this world <laughs> yeah I can do that <laughs> Star Wars doesn't exist in this world but if it did it would be like a dark lightsaber <laughs> with the long a long um, just blade of dark energy and uh, they uh, move 
to attack. Okay. Real quick, while Mickey's doing that calculation, who's in the chat right now? We'd like to know. Well, we've got <laughs> Frost Bay in the chat. Yeah, hell yeah. Bay, which is This is awesome. a problem for them. So the 16 so that Tara in the chat. Honestly, we just have the full cast of Speak of the Devil. <laughs> We're all here, even though only half of us are here. Yeah. You'll be in my Oh, it's, it's the decks, actually. So, yeah, it definitely is. Also, so... <laughs> Christina can watch this show, but not her own. <laughs> so, that does... We appreciate seven, what you're doing right now, Christina. Don't listen to Speak damage. of the Devil, though. Um, and this, the Shadow Blade cuts into the back of Rivik and he stumbles forward and lets out this growl of frustration, noticing Oh, hi, Mar! I'm in you! <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mar! Nice to see you here. You deserve that. Um, and uh, stumbles forward. Now she's really no longer <laughs> invisible, but uh, they are holding this shadow blade. Um, that means it's Meryl's turn. Love you, Christina. You're all right, Christina. <laughs> uh, Mural. Marvelous. Um, so I am going to... I love you too, Miss. Thank you. We are I all think things. what I'm going to do is cast... Bane on this motherfucker. The tiefling? Yes. Oh, the darkness is around that. <laughs> um, Thank you exactly, Andrew, for laughing at that. <laughs> I got your back. Uh, what is the Apparently. save? <laughs> oh, actually, I cast Bane on both of them. Both of the enemies. Up to three creatures of your choice that I can see. Within. Oh, it's just sight? It's not a range. Yes. Right? Okay. What's the save? Uh, charisma. Ooh. And it's 15. That's like one of the few spells that is a charisma save. The save is 15? Mm-hmm. That's a natural 16. Gross. Horrific. Uh, and a 15. Four. Gross. Sorry, bud. Well, then I am ineffective, and... You can um, move. Can I summon my packed weapon instead of moving, or... But, like, I don't need a bonus action or a movement, but I would like to summon my packed weapon. Summoning it, I think, is a move action, right? It's an action. It's an action action. So, that's, casting Bane, trying to cast Bane is your action. Yeah, that's so why I'm asking if I can sacrifice my movement and bonus to just do the... Vroom. Mm. <laughs> vroom. I'll allow it. Yes! I make the rules. <laughs> the oh. of the coasts can... What are, um, you, what are you trying to summon? Sorry? Yeah, what no, are you so trying what, to... Hold up, you? I'm sorry. Wizards of the Coast can what? Eat me. <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure I heard that. It seems like you should charge them extra for that. Um, <laughs> oh, so hey. what I wanted was two daggers, and what I rolled was a one. <laughs> it's two daggers... Um, but I'm gonna say it. They're like, you know, like those uh, double sided blades. It's like two daggers, as a double sided. So I have a double sided dagger. Yeah. Great. That's not useless at all. I'm the I'm the ti I'm tiny Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except without the cool colors. <laughs> My colors are. You're black just as horny though. Ah! <laughs> Darth Maul, known for his loving of fucking. <laughs> Nikki says, fuck wizards. <laughs> but also, fuck wizards. You know what I'm saying? No. Ahem. Ahem. Today's episode of the show. Fuck wizards. Uh, first of all, fuck warlocks. If you're gonna <laughs> Today's fuck episode of the show is brought to you by Wizards of the Coast, not being a litigious company. Anywho. 
I would put sorcerers in there too. I would want to fuck sorcerers. Not wrong. Okay, <laughs> so you them. have you summon your your packed weapon. Lady Luck is having a fun time. Um, with you. So, um, that's it for you. That means it is the next turn. So, um, this um skeleton is going to just hack and slash at Chalva again. No. Because it can't, no. it doesn't want to do anything else. You're within its range and it has no mind. Natural 19, I'm guessing. God damn it. it. <laughs> My Jabril dice are doing a lot for me today. That's six points of damage. Why are you trying to kill me, Nikki? It's right in front of Why? you! Why? There's, <laughs> there's no feels logical personal. place. <laughs> no logical other place for it to want to go. <laughs> Um, and then Rivik turns around somehow. Riv yeah. Rivik turns around, um, reaches out and um grabs uh Shavala by the arm and this cold energy seeps from his fingers and like starts like freezing. Shavala's arm up to the elbow and like there's like a pulsing of this dark ice energy and it starts moving into his like into Rivik's hand like taking the energy from Shavala's hand and moving it into his own. Is this Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Did we just cross? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Johnny thank you for posting the selfie of us as we play. Mega appreciating that. Mm-hmm. Um, so Baby, nice. I got you. Yeah, I like how none of that us look good bad. in this photo. Andrew does. Andrew looks great. <laughs> uh, I look great. Shut up. I'm unaware Nikki's confused and Johnny, you look weird. <laughs> it came out great. So, um, that is... I literally took that photo to send to a cute human. Tell me I'm cute. Tell me I'm cute. Oh, let me double check. <laughs> Eight points of necrotic damage. Sorry, buddy. I love you. And then he gains. Um, Listeners, I will be dropping a link to this uh, selfie in the chat. Go ahead and let us know if Johnny's cute. I'm not looking at anything. Oh, you still have beer. Never mind. Yeah. I was going to refill your beer. But... No, I'm good. <laughs> so Shrava oh, right. winces and like tries to flinch away, but they're just currently... And then so they're going to, tr um, on their turn, try to break away, but not yet. So, um, they're engaged in a grapple. Oh, they're engaged. Aw. <laughs> Congratulations. These two, these two legitimately want to kill each other. Hey, lie them. I mean, um, like most engagements. Heterosexuals, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Type F in the chat for heterosexuals. You just, you just hear, hear Shavala, like, in the corner, like, even though they're being grabbed. How dare you call me heterosexual? <laughs> I meant as an allegorical metaphor. <laughs> How dare you call me straight? I take more offense to that than I do this ugly bastard trying to touch me. I reiterate, press F in the chat for heterosexuals. You uh, uh, ew, uh, ew. What's great is we don't know if that's over heterosexuality or your selfie. <laughs> no, heterosexuals, okay, first so, of all. And um, second of all, I am cute. Shut up. So Hugo Shalva, who's, who's next? Uh, Hugo. You go. <laughs> yeah, is the skeleton that I'm destined to destroy still alive? Yes. The, cool. one, uh, the one that's in front of uh, Shalva. <laughs> I, uh, I charge over there and I... No, I don't charge. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fancy French rogue, so I bound over there. You bound 5, 10, 15 feet. Uh, and I, I no, go ahead and... get behind her. You wanna, and I get behind it. Way. Something deep in my psychic resonance memory <laughs> tells me to get behind it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to roll there a hit. Go. Do I have to use Bardic Inspiration on the next one? No, you can use no, it whenever you want to in the next ten minutes. Can I? You can roll. Can I combat. decide when to use it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Fifteen plus five, so that'll be twenty. That hits. Uh, I don't think I have advantage, right? You do because you you're flanking. Because you're flanking. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. You had the chance like four months ago to tell me I can't be French, but you didn't. Why would I so. tell the you? gang learns that. Uh, Hugo is actually dope in combat. <laughs> that should be the name <laughs> of today's episode. Nikki, 
My curse hasn't been activated, has it? Uh, not yet. Okay, cool. I do. Uh, I do a <laughs> solid seven points of damage. Okay. But you're still alive. <sighs> oh, bummer. You you like cut into it and you like chip a piece off of its arm, like what's left of this dwindling muscle mm. in its arm. You just you cut into it. Is that on its uh, weapon arm? No, because it's right-handed. Well, never mind. That's why. I, the skeleton's right-handed, I guess. <laughs> it's not an ambidextrous skeleton. No, a few of them but are. But its hand is its like <laughs> this over while it's trying to fight Shalva. In all my experience raiding tombs, I find that very few skeletons are ambidextrous. <laughs> all right, Shalva. Um, I look at this skeleton in front of me, and I say, You look like shit, mate. And cast Vicious Mockery. Alright, uh, what save is that? Uh, wisdom save, 15. Notoriously wise skeletons. Uh, that's a 10, so it doesn't save. Yay! 11 minus 1. For 4 damage! Da -da 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 -da. So, it just, its head, like, tilts to the side a little bit when you taunt it, and, like, the vest last vestige of a tear rolls down its cheek. <laughs> Good <laughs> hell. Not only has it been brought Does back it have to any babies life, that I'm gonna have to adopt? <laughs> you just see like skeleton babies. <laughs> crawl out of the God water. damn it. I just start mashing up jerky and cheese. I no. thought you were gonna say masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, there's microphones. Stop. I am not a skeleton pedophile. Weird that you would go directly there. Skelophile? Skelophile? Oh my god! <laughs> Someone who likes skeletons? It's pronounced scalophile. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced necrophilia. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I forgot there was a word for that. Does that make it... I, I apologize in advance for this joke. Does that make it necrophilia? No. <laughs> no! What the hell? <laughs> Necro... I didn't. I totally this forgot going there was a word a for that. Place. As I am a decent human being who forgets that that's a thing. Holy hell! Move on. <laughs> okay, so uh, you made the it joke. It is Shalala's turn. It, the skeleton also has disadvantage on its next attack roll. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I forgot about that because I mocked it. You mocked it, and it, it's very mocked. It's uh, mocked. Speak. Uh, busting balls is Sarah Blunt suggests we take a shot every time Ben C. Hamlin ha ha hawns. Uh, no, you'll die. I, mean, I, I am kind of. If getting... you take a shot of water every time that happens, you'll go blind. Like I mean, you would reach the hydration block. That's, that's what I'm saying. I, oh, I, yeah. I kind of am taking a drink every time I do that because I always go ha ha ha. Cheers. Slancha. <laughs> Lime. Okay. Um, so, Shavala is going to take their movement action to try to break the grapple. They're very offended that they're... <laughs> Did that this just... skeleton just go invisible? I can't see it now. No, that's <laughs> disadvantaged. I know what it means. Hi, Sarah. Glad that is not going to work. They they can't seem to break out of the grapple, and this the energy keeps crawling up their arm, but with um, but the weapon switches to their other hand because Shavala is ambidextrous. <sighs> And they um, uh, swipe out with their shadow weapon. It's an 18. That's going to hit. And that is 2d8. So 3d8, actually. I'm having a hard time finding d8s currently, even though I have 21 sets of dice. <laughs> oh, you probably need more. For the listener at home, we tweeted out two photos of Nikki's current horde, which is hiding behind the DM screen. You can go to Infinity Break 23 to find it. It's yikes. So it, It's amazing. It, this shadow weapon like plunges into Rivet's shoulder and just like goes right through the arm. And uh, he somehow manages to still keep his hold on Shavala, but like yells out. And it's uh, like pulses with this dark energy like it's the the two of them as they're locked in combat are just surrounded with this dark oppressive like terrifying necromantic energy um so that means it is Nero's turn marvelous uh I do just want to give a shout out uh 
three of my babes in Belfast just sent us a bunch of love. They're not able to watch because it's like 11 p.m. and they're at a dance party. Uh, but they did just send a video of the three of them going, Oh, we love you. Uh, oh, and they were like, we know you won't be able to watch this till later because you're streaming. Uh, but like, love. Um, <clears throat> uh, Cyber Skeletor, again, Sarah Blunt from Busting Balls, says, quote, at Infinity Break 23's Legends of Laia makes me, a, a skeleton, skeleton lover, you're feel valid. valid. You're valid, Sarah. <laughs> hey, Sarah, what the hell? You're valid. I mean, nobody can resist them bones. <laughs> them bones, them bones, them crab bones. Anyways, um, let's see <clears throat> here. Gross. Not the beer. I <laughs> am gonna, no, the beer is wonderful. It's a cult from Unicorn Brewing. Uh, today's episode brought to you by a business. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast the big scary monster. You killed the monster. Uh, Rivik? Yeah. Okay. That's how I'm playing this. Um, and I'm gonna use luck on one of those. Yes! Best use of luck in the history of mankind. I rolled a six, uh-huh. and then I lucked, and then I rolled a natural 20. So, nice. That hits for one of them. Um, so, let me... What about the other one? Let me arrange some things here. So, the first one is a 17 plus 6 for 11 damage. And the second one is a natural 20 for 22 damage. Sorry, some discussion going on in the chat. Cyber Skelly posts, is that a bone in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Tara I never fall- looked at a clavicle. I need really look. <laughs> thanks, Tara. Thanks, Sarah. And thanks, okay, Selwa. So, as this Which reaction, they their head turns around as they, uh, they notice you about to cast this. And they, um, where was it? I need, I need to check for a second. Make sure that I'm still... Yes, you are. Okay. Um, and they um, throw up their hand, and since Eldritch Blast is a cantrip, Counterspell negates it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Counterspell, you're like, not they, funny. Dude, Counterspell is a sexy spell. I hate it. <laughs> I got a nat 20. We are describing too many things as sexy on this show. It's Maybe not my show thing. is sexy. Anyway, he throws up his hand and like you're you're just about to shoot the Eldritch Blast, but like it feels like the energy is suddenly sucked through, sucked out of your body, and then just dissipates into the air. You absolute cockbag! <laughs> I say, Mural says to the <laughs> Rivik. Yeah. Johnny says Can- to canonically, <laughs> Mural calls the Rivik a cockbag. <laughs> no further comment. <laughs> He doesn't see any reason to respond to you. Anything else you'd like to do? No! (laughs) It'll just get counterspelled anyway. There's a limited amount of spots. I mean... God damn it. Uh, So now it's Rivik's turn. I mean, have you ever really watched this show? (laughs) It's sexy. Okay, so the um, it has disadvantage on its roll, but yeah. it turns around um, because it seem, doesn't seem to be a fan of the fact that it was attacked and is going to um, attack Hugo. Oh. oh, everyone take a shot, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> you got to be more responsible with your... I'm models. guessing 11 doesn't hit. It's weird that... No, it doesn't. Okay. It, it's weird that, like, this is a drinking game now based solely off of things I do, which means I can control the speed at which people drink. Well, I'm <laughs> okay, so, uh, it, it tries to swing it at Hugo, but misses. Rivet, <laughs> um, continues to, uh, well, actually, <laughs> well, seems, actually. um, to be very annoyed at the lot of you, and turns around. We're fucking annoyed at you too. 
<laughs> we also wish you were not here. And um, he pulls out a uh, a tiny ball of batch. <laughs> And there's the smell of sulfur in the air as he puts the two in his hand and rubs it together and then throws it. And I need all of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Did he just Fuck fireball off. us? I'm dead I, as shit. I fail my dexterity saving throw by dropping my phone. <laughs> I got a 21. Okay, you save, so you take half. I got a 9. You fail. Um, can I use my natural 20? On <laughs> I'm this? sorry. You fucking asshole. <laughs> 16. You save. So, uh, unfortunately, Shalva, who really needed to make that save, did not make it. It doesn't save. matter. I'm going unconscious The fireball regardless. just explodes, like, right between, um, like... Did the skeleton planet. pass the save? Oh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I, he doesn't care. No, it doesn't. So it just is incinerated. Ha, it's joke's incinerated. on you, I say as I fall down dead. <laughs> no, Ripperino. So what's your next character going to be? I don't know. Something tankier. (laughs) Um, Shalva. uh, I have to roll the damage first. It's D... 8d6. Unless you cast a little higher level spell, you asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah, that is 8d6. So let me find 8d6s, which I think I have. You have 21 sets, so... You guys got so lucky. Good. 14 points of fire damage. I'm unconscious. Shot the it just it's, so the rest of you take 7 points of fire damage. How did you roll that low? I I got a 1, a 1, a 2, a 2, a 4 and a 4. Wow. So you're lucky, all of you who made the save. I mean, I'm still unconscious, so it doesn't really matter. Don't gab on this show. I will give you <laughs> extra damage. All right, that's fair. Um, so I'm afraid. Unfortunately, the as it the concussion the like the concussive element of the fireball and the fact that it seemed to explode right near you, it just there's just this huge ball of fire. The rest of you manage to turn away and kind of shield yourselves, but you still get like just just um, charred up the side. But poor Shalva just gets isn't <laughs> able to react in time and takes the full brunt of the fireball force, goes flying backward and falls unconscious to the ground. Your healer is gone. Do we have any healing? No. Not except for Petros. Any recourse to that at all? <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm. How many damage did you say? Oh, so you take seven. Or yep. If you made. Oh, I made. <laughs> oh, I made. Well, Petros can heal you. Petros is in a cage. <laughs> Defeat the, the boss. <laughs> I'm dying! I can't! <laughs> you have to, that's right, you have to make your death saves. Yeah. Um, so that is Rivik's turn. So, who is next? Uh, Hugo. Oh, cool, I'm up next so that I can make my first death save. <laughs> okay, so, um, jog my memory on what's directly happening around me. Is there another skeleton fight or is that thing dead? That thing's dead. Cool. Oh, sorry. So, is that... I'm having a little trouble reading this map. Big fella is the only one left. Is that the thing over there on the left? Mm-hmm. Sorry, what? This guy? That's yep. Rivik. And yes. And Shavala is right here. Okay. I'm on the ground. <laughs> so Rivik is the one we're trying to murder. Yes. Cool. Um, how many squares away? I am the blindest motherfucker 5, on 10, the planet. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 feet away. My whip might. I also don't want to get that close to the bad guy now that I think about that. Um, my my, my whip AC has a reach. is pretty low. Because wizard. My whip squishy. does have a reach of plus five feet. Nice. So I could go over there and just watcha, watcha, watcha. Uh, you would be flanking too. I would be flanking too. Well, if anyone has a med kit, they can use their uh, move to their, or their action to stabilize. I probably have a med kit. The thing is, I never wrote down <laughs> what's in my adventuring kit. So then you don't. Okay. Because <laughs> um, I made my character sheet mere moments before our first episode. <laughs> I know you did. Um, As you are so wont to do. No, 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 no. We're two and a half hours into the... (laughs) 
Yeah, we're two and a half hours. <laughs> okay, that was a special circumstance because we were streaming all day before we started playing Starfinder. Anyways, continue. anyway, um, so uh, how much damage has, or rather, how unwell does Rivik look at this point? Um, uh, Rivik is looking pretty nasty. The shadow blade damage has like basically torn into his whole left side, and like it pierced, like it pierced his whole left side and awesome. like, went all the way through. So he looks pretty. He looks definitely the worst for wear. So uh, now I'm pretty sure I'm correct on this. If I go over there, I will get uh, because I'll be flanking. I will get sneak attack. Yes. All right, then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to to rear back my whip. And go for a whip, a whip crack across the face. How are you moving? How many? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Your full speed? Yes. Okay. Whip crack, here we go. Okay. Our Father who art in heaven. Uh, that would be a 19 plus 5, so 24 to hit. That hits. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Does my whip crit on 19? Do we know? No, no. it does Unless it has the it's keen feature. All right. Well, it doesn't then. Path, uh, Pathfinder moves that around a lot. D and D doesn't really. Yeah. Ah, bummer. And you know me, I am a slut for Pathfinder. Well, Folks, you know hello. I am too because I give a bunch of weapons keen in our yeah. campaign. Yep. Uh, oh, mother, fucker. Lord, calm down, Hamlin. Sorry. All right. So my damage for that is oh, not this guy. You, you oh. said the trigger word, Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got excited. Uh, that would be uh, seven in total, plus I believe my dexterity. Damage? Yes, because it's a whip, because it's, it's finesse. finesse. Yes. Uh, strength whip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that would be ten damage. Um, your your whip like cracks them across, cracks him across the face, and this uh, crack starts to appear in their in the skull that they have formed around their face, and like splits. And just there's like this dark ichor that just pours out of there. Out yeah, you of can't counterspell that, can you, motherfucker? <laughs> Please answer his question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I have any reactions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I have to pretend to hate you for this campaign, but I love you so it's much. It's okay, I don't take it personally. You shouldn't, because it's just the French guy, and you're not French. That's true. I'm Irish, so I'm okay. <laughs> Is anyone ever really okay? I'm just kidding, we're all okay. <laughs> Big mood. None of us are okay. Uh, they say nothing to you. He says nothing to you. Oof. That's a little rude. <laughs> you were addressed directly. Um, Shavala. Did my turn get skipped? Oh no. Well, you're unconscious. Do your death saving throw. Yeah. That's a 10. That's a success. Sweet. So your first saving throw. You succeed. Okay. Um, I'm being asked to properly spell uh, Hugo's name. entire name. Right. Um, so, uh, Shavala is again going to try to break the grapple. And that's not going to be a success, I don't think. Yeah, that's not a success. They don't manage to break the grapple, but um, they do uh, reach their hand around and grab the hand that is on uh, their arm, and their own uh, ice magic begins to spread up Rivik's own hand as uh, they cast Frostbite, which they can do for 2d6. Three... This bitch. Oh my god. So the ice starts climbing up uh, Rivik's body, like slowly starting to encase him, and it's like obviously becoming. He, he, he's having a hard time moving. Um, he's just 
bleeding from where the shadow blade uh, sunk into him. And it's uh, his or mural. Mural? Yes. Mural? Cool. Um, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast that motherfucker again. Okay. And can I hold over my natural 20? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh my god, if you counterspelled this again. <laughs> um... So that's going to be a 15 and a 16 to hit. Okay. Um, uh, the Eldritch Blast goes uh, flying toward um, flying toward him. He throws up his hand, and this um, shimmering wall of black energy shows up in front of him, and <laughs> uh, it bounces off. The Eldritch Blast bounces off because he cast shield. <laughs> yeah, right. The double. Double deuce. <laughs> um so it's not perfect anything else you want to do um throw my hands up in fucking <laughs> you just hear from the car as like there's like waving of the tentacles like babies cheering you on <laughs> it's like when pom pom's like yay <laughs> I'm not mad anymore. If you could understand this placer beast, uh, you would hear, You can do it, Hero! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Baby! Johnny! <laughs> baby! You have to edit this. You know how loud you are right now. <laughs> baby! Baby, baby. Um, so, it's Rivik's turn. Um, uh, he is going to use... Vampiric touch again. I don't like this guy. Uh, he continues to to grab on to Shavala, who, even with all their struggling, is not has not been able to escape um, uh, his grasp. And it is a sneak attack. So we'll see. So that's a So the, the cold, like, creeps up. Shavala is starting to, like, go over their shoulder and, like, uh, creeping towards their heart. And uh, the cold energy uh, just flows into Rivik and seems to... Um, the ice starts closing part of the wound that Shavala had caused before. And so it is Hugo's turn. Okay. Can I go for another whip crack in the exact same fashion? Yes. Awesome. I, mean, I don't want to alarm anyone with what my move's going to be, but um, it worked well last time, so... <laughs> I am alarmed. Uh, that would be 9 plus 5. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say that doesn't... That doesn't hit. Okay, then I'm going to use my Bardic Inspiration. Yeah! Thank you. And add a solid plus 5 to that, bringing me to 19 in total. That just hits with shields. Oh, alrighty. Uh, and then... Uh, let's go ahead and do that uh, that sneak attack whip crack. Whoopsie. Sneak attack whip crack. Uh, that would be 8 plus 4, so 12 plus 3, 15. Why don't you describe this final move to us? Okay. Uh, I'm going to, um, it, correct me if I'm wrong, facing away from me or facing toward me? He's facing towards you, which he has cool. like, what's happening right now, Shavala is um, like kind of being held up kind of above with their arm above their head as like this uh ice is forming on their arm and Rivik has them by the arm and they're turned around because they just they counter spelled and cast fireball at you guys mm -hmm. so yeah uh, he is facing you with like part of his body turned while he's grabbing Shavala all right uh so slightly turned away then sounds like not fully but yeah, like at a slight angle 
uh, I'm going to use that angle to my advantage, rear back of the whip, and and you know thrust it forward and rip it back in such a way that it slashes directly across the windpipe. That's good. That's good. <laughs> There's you. It goes right across uh, the windpipe and just kind of you just hear like. There's a slice and then a crack. And there, his arm is still like grasped around Shivala, like as if, like, in the this death grip of I'm gonna bring you down with me, but then falls to the ground. Dead. And that's where we're gonna take a break. <laughs> Yay! It died. All right. Hey, folks. no thanks to me. <laughs> Truly. I'm unconscious. <laughs> I'm unconscious in both games right now. Oh, no. Wait, is Dareth unconscious? He was suffocating underneath a troll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hugo stands above this battlefield victorious. Yeah, you did a good job this time. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I got in... Look, Dude. folks, not to brag. I got in several really good hits. Um, hey, folks, uh, if this is your first time listening to the program, uh, you might be a little confused by what's going on right now. The show is not over. We are instead just doing our commercial break, which we always do in the middle of episodes, uh, so that we can break it up for your consumption via podcast. If you like what we are listening to, this is infinitybreak.net, where we are telling stories our own way. Podcasts, webcomics, live streams, videos, and more are all available at infinitybreak.net. If you like this show, Legends of Laia, fear not, we actually have more D&D content in the form of Johnny... Speak of the Devil, which Speak is Speak of the a, Devils uh, every other a, Sunday at 6 p.m. It sure is. If this is a monstrous show, yours is a devilish one. Yep. As uh, a number of characters are pulled from their home dimensions and forced to run errands for a council of devilesses as they send them across the continent on various uh, tasks that may end I mean, with you have the been to a of total of three c- cities, so I don't know if across the continent is super accurate. Um, but tune in every other Sunday to watch, uh, it's, uh, this guy right here. Hello. Ben Hamlin. Hello. Um, er, Christina hello. Gray, who was in the chat earlier. Uh, Tara Bossart, who was in the chat earlier. Still is. Still is. I, I don't know if Frost Bay's around either. I was just using the same descriptor for both because I haven't been paying attention to the chat. So wait, wait. Um. Oh, I return this to you. Thank you. And, uh, currently, uh, they are... Uh, actively frustrating me by consistently taking routes that I did not plan. <laughs> ah, uh, so, for example, right now they're in a subway then. system uh, that I fully did not account for existing at all. Uh, so I've it's you know been on the fly, uh, but it's really exciting. And uh, Makira, the Rat King uh, that they have encountered, uh, is real fun and there's all sorts of stuff going on with that that you should definitely tune in for next time we broadcast uh because some shit's gonna happen uh now of course you can watch this show on youtube our youtube at youtube.com forward slash infinity break 23 you sure can ben (laughs) what i said you sure can ben oh yes you sure can weirdly aggressive from you johnny um you can watch uh Every Speak of the Devil, every Long Haul, every Speak of the Bard, and every Grim Hollow, and Legends of Laia. All uh, of our Infinity Showcase is on there. All yeah, of the true. Infinity Showcase is on there. It's all rebroadcast on our YouTube at youtube.com uh, forward slash Infinity Break 23. Um, so if you want to catch up on Legends of Laia, which you absolutely should, because there's not that much content so far, uh, that is the place to go. You can, of course, find this show on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify as well, and we would highly appreciate especially for our tabletop shows if you go if you went ahead and left a review a five-star review if you can the more five-star <laughs> reviews you, we have uh, the easier it is for people to find this show and find all of our other shows which makes it just that much more worth it for us i would like to extend a personal thank you to everyone who is in the chat right now this has been a very vocal episode of legends of life <laughs> We're uh, very happy about that, by the way. I love it when people are chatting. Yeah, yeah. that truly makes it all worth it. Because otherwise, we might as well just be playing D anD D in the dark. At, or, well, not in the dark. <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> um, oh well. Um, anyway, uh, special, Ru- special get out. To ska. Uh, yeah. So thanks everyone who is uh, in what to one degree or another live tweeting this show or uh, participating along in the chat. We greatly appreciate that. 
Uh, while we are still taking this break, I'd like to take the time to tell you about other Infinity Break shows, such as, oh no, my ad aren't open right such now. Such as, oh no. Such as, oh no, Ross and Carrie, which such is a paranormal podcast. Yeah. Which is a paranormal podcast on the Maximum Fun Network. Am I dead? No! <laughs> Surely not. And if you were, that's something to discuss during the during the show when it starts again. Well, it was just a question. It was a simple question. I think you're probably you're dead, my dead dude. Yet. Someone <laughs> can dead. stabilize you. Don't listen to me. Listen to the Dungeon Master. <laughs> um... Uh, you know what? I would like to take the time to talk to y'all about the Cursed Seas, which is a Pathfinder pirate podcast. A Pathfinder pirate podcast brought to you by Infinity Break. A broadcast, if you will. A broadcast, if you will. A prawncast. It is full of shrimp. That is actually canon. Ahoy and a vast maze of built rats. I'd like to tell you about the Cursed Seas, a Pathfinder adventure on the open ocean from Infinity Break. Not 20 years ago, the dread pirate Blackbeard tore through the seven seas hoarding treasure and murdering all who stood in his way. Until one day, when there were no more coasts left to conquer, he disappeared and took his gold with him. And it's just a matter of time until somebody digs it back up. Bethany plays fiendish Finn McBludgeon, a strapping fisher woman from parts unknown. Laura plays the arcanist Luna Shepard, searching for her family of pirates and witches. And Jacob plays Seamus Kincaid, an amnesiac and undead pirate captain who somehow came into the possession of Blackbeard's journal. Join the three members of this ragtag crew and Dungeon Master Ben Hamlin, hello, that's me, as they explore the open ocean for treasure and fortune. That is, if the Curses don't claim them first. Right now in the Curses, which is a fantastic comedy adventure, the point of which is comedy, not like in these shows where comedy is kind of a thing that accidentally happens during <laughs> it's, the show. It's a side effect. It's an unfortunate side effect. I don't know if I'd say unfortunate, but... All right, it's a brilliant side effect. <laughs> um, the, the point of that show is comedy. So right now, I believe they are searching the Empty Isle, which is an island abandoned by people and time and is perpetually raining upon. That sentence didn't work. Um, and they are searching for a mythological beast called the Under Beast. Uh, so that is the Cursed Seas, a pirate Pathfinder adventure, available wherever you get your podcasts, uh, but especially iTunes. And please do consider leaving a review. Um, let's see, Johnny's still upstairs, so I think now's a great time to plug the Patreon. We have a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash infinity break where you can support this show and all IB programming for as little as $1 a month. You get access to all sorts of behind the scenes content, including extra analysis from the Forces and Men, bonus content from Sneeple of the Movies, and Nikki. Yes. There's something special you can get if you're a fan of Legends of Laia. If you're a fan, you of got so much taller while I looked away real quick and then went back to you. <laughs> your head was no longer where I thought your head was, and I had to quickly adjust upwards. <laughs> I'm tall. Um, if you're cool. a fan of the show, and uh, you can, for as little as one dollar a month, get access to my special homebrew content, um, which I make as um, supplement to the player's handbook. Uh, including this variant tiefling that you saw for the first time uh, in His Majesty, the Wendigo tiefling, um, for whom I created a new spell, Abyssal Rebuke, instead of Hellish Rebuke. Um, uh, so that'll be available on the Patreon sometime this week. Uh, you can use that for your own campaigns, if you wish. Um, you can get that. And uh, World Notes, uh, which were previously before only available to the players, um, and other such supplemental material that will be uploaded as the campaign continues. It'll be uploaded after its relevant episode so that there are no spoilers. Yeah, we have a number of levels over on that Patreon. At the $1 level, you get access to a bunch of behind-the-scenes audio, and at the $5 level, you get access to whole episodes of shows uh, that we have put up there for your listening pleasure. I don't think we've picked a tier one way or another. Uh, some will be one, some will be five. I think one depending will be on like the scale of things. and then like for, for full classes and stuff, that'll be five. That makes sense to me. Uh, uh, but yeah, you you are supporting literally every show that Infinity Break puts out at patreon.com forward slash Infinity Break. Without any further ado, since we are all back at the table, let's continue on with Legends of Laia. All right. I believe I need to pick up still. No, no, we're not doing the recredits again. Go for it. Last time on Legends of Laia. You uh, met and defeated a Wendigo tiefling wizard who was trying to recapture the little Wendigo tiefling that you saved from the Displacer Beast before. You managed to succeed. And yay! Yay! But we, you we did have... it, team! Yay! Hey, you're unconscious. You can't do that. We did it, team. 
I take my head We did it, team. Ah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has left one of your comrades unconscious on the ground, and you do not know their state. Who? Shalva! Oh, shit, that's me! It's you. <laughs> Poor Shalva. Um, I start hacking away with my dumb dagger at uh, the stone cage. <laughs> oh right, the stone cage. Um, so like as soon as so as soon as he dies, the cage crumbles and frees. But... I did it. <laughs> you did it. I'm so proud of you. You finally did something. Petros. Wow. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> it's not your fault that it's that Eldritch Blast is a cantrip and therefore counterspell at any level c- counters it. <laughs> Petros, heal our friend. Uh, I don't have. I, I do have Petros's character sheet. So give me a moment. That's the thing we should Lay also... Lay on hands. That's, that's the thing we should also start doing for the Patreon, is we should start making our um, end-of-level character sheets available on the Patreon, I would think. Yeah, I do have specifically a public character sheet. Lovely. We should start making those available on the Patreon. I don't think I have anything... Also, I here. just subscribed to Battle Pigeon tier, and first of all, uh, being called a Battle Pigeon is so nice, and you guys should try it out sometime. If you are not already a Battle Pigeon, uh, step it up. And secondly, uh, yeah, all of that content... I, you get 15 HP. Yay! I'm using the full lay on hands. I did not expect there to be quite so much stuff. Yeah. I thought we were lazier than that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. I think. <laughs> it's an advertisement. Uh, did you find any particular clip you enjoyed? Uh, I definitely just like went back to the stuff that I'm in because uh, I'm a <laughs> narcissistic <laughs> butt. Uh, but it was all great and I'm hilarious. Johnny Ronaldo, everyone. Oh, oh, you mean the 10 minutes of blooper reels from Of Horses and Men? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> back to the adventure. Back to the adventure. Um, I mean, Nikki's stuff is great too. I just haven't gotten a chance to read it. I haven't posted anything on Patreon yet. Oh, oh well then, yeah. beautiful. I mean, one world doc. That's Which I, I got to read that anyways. Okay, so yeah, the next is... Um, I guess I should I should qualify that with I haven't gotten a chance to read anything that I haven't already read just because I work here. <laughs> that works. I'm kidding. I'm shrink. Um, so Petros lays hands on oh. Shalva. <laughs> And she awakens and regains 15 HP. <laughs> not on my hands. podcast. This is a good Christian podcast. <laughs> no, it's not. This is monsters awesome. and actual Satan. <laughs> I already fucked a lizard. <laughs> a lizard? He's offended by that. That is pretty fucking rude. He's a dragonborn. It's I already fucked a dragonborn. There you go. A hunk. That's <laughs> A hunk of a dragonborn. <laughs> He's 6'4 with horns. With horns, you're so funny. You're so funny. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, Shalva gasps awake and just goes, what, Was that a fucking fireball? Yes. Ah, what do you are awake? <laughs> it was a fireball. Does someone have something to drink? <laughs> Is that in character? Yeah. <laughs> Just to dip the glass I, I into the a, river sticks. I have a little bit of Kolsch left. Try it. No. From Unicorn Brewing. There's water right by you. And if they'd like to sponsor no, us for water. There's I, water I, right by you. I take out my water skin. Okay, there we go. Sure I drink you don't want to dip anything into the river sticks, <laughs> which I described as gross and smelling like rot. Can I throw sure. the dumb bad guy's skull in? <laughs> do that it starts bubbling and sinks to the bottom i don't think that we should and drink that water <laughs> and resurrect the goddamn it. fuck me <laughs> and cast fireball yeah, everybody make a dexterity Shabala <laughs> lays their hand on the rest of the body and it just starts to dissolve we could have just thrown <sighs> it in the river yeah this is more satisfying all right that makes sense uh shalva climbs up into the back of the wagon and lays down Hey, Sarah, are you all right? Yeah, I don't think they'll be looking for me anymore. Or maybe they will be and we should leave. I mean, either way we should leave. Uh, hey, uh, ferryman guy, uh, Karen. Hi. Karen. Karen? Um, now that's a name I've not heard before. I like it. You may call me Karen. <laughs> all right. Karen, uh, now can we bring our little friend with us? 
that was very entertaining, more entertaining than anything I've seen. And, you know, I, I've seen dead things come out of this river. They tickle my toes sometimes. <laughs> but sure, why don't you... Uh... <laughs> Shama sits up and like looks over the edge of the wagon. To you have see some weird like foot thing. <laughs> I don't have feet. I'm just kidding. He has feet. <laughs> um, Is that by all means get your shit out of here? Get your shit out of here. <laughs> Take now your I'm... wagons and bring them onto this raft, and I shall ferry you safely across. I can't stop thinking about whether or not people without like being fixated on people without feet would still be a foot fetish probably because you're thinking about feet i mean it's specific to feet but it's the absence of so them. isn't that like an amputee fetish hey i want to a- die an- <laughs> anti-foot fetish i don't know man I no i'm gonna think about that for a long time i'm <laughs> think about truly, it quietly to yourself <laughs> truly fixated by yourself in your room <laughs> Alone, pants off. <laughs> so you. Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, Shalva's gonna just lay in the wagon, continue laying in the wagon for a while. Okay. Do you uh, move your wa- your carts onto the? Does Binks cuddle up to you? <laughs> no. No. Oh. Do you want it? He sits on your face like cats do. <laughs> yes. No, I push him off. <laughs> Wait, I forgot we were talking about a cat. <laughs> Wait, who's sitting on my face? <laughs> I was about to say, normally I pay extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a little squeak as he like gets pushed off your face. Um, do you... Lynx! <laughs> Did he hurt you? Take your cat. I will take my pussy. Great. <laughs> Donnie, why are you like that? <sighs> on my, on this, my good Christian podcast. It's not! <laughs> I'm gonna cast healing... Or cure wounds on myself. Okay. Oh, that's a one. What? A sensible Re-roll decision? One. Uh, also, Re-roll? if anyone Re-roll. could... That's an eight. Nice. Also, if anyone could cure me, I would be super fucking stoked about cure that. Cure you of what? Nice. <laughs> I'll love it, lad. Of, of my lesser health. Uh, Petros King... Lad. Will... That's the wrong cure... character. I know. Uh, cure wounds to you. Yay! You get five points back. Wow. Petros. Cool. Better than nothing. Not great, but all right. Mural. Mural. Yeah. Come here. I touch you and cast your wounds myself. Yes. <laughs> God, reroll ones, right? Yes, reroll one. <laughs> uh, you gain another nine. Beautiful. And that's my last spell slot. I'm back to where I was at the beginning of this episode. And then I lay back down and go to sleep. Okay, so are you, you guys move your carts onto the raft? Yep. So you move your carts onto the raft, and uh, Karen, the newly christened Karen. <laughs> Wait, do we still have the the uh, French guy's cart? Yeah, you have two. Oh, beautiful. That's why I said oh. carts. We, they took it with you, with them. Yeah. I didn't realize you guys took any of the carts to send it down into the Yeah, abyss. it took them a while, but they did. <laughs> Interesting. You're welcome. Thank you. They, they I rolled ap- really high on I appreciate valley. you. Thank you. I appreciate you retrieving my stuff while I was stuck in the void of eternal darkness. Did well, I hope that stuff? that shows in gratuity. Hey, what happened? Like, I was keeping watch, and I didn't see anything happen to you, and then you were gone. Yes, well, I... Who are you looking at? <laughs> huh? God speaks down from above. <laughs> no, no, no. I know you gave me that information. I don't think you told me exactly how I got dragged off. You pooped. Ah. You pooped. Uh, it, it was the most remarkable thing. Wait, even though there was tracks on the ground? It's, yeah, there was tracks. There's, it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever left those tracks is what kidnapped you. Okay. Uh, it was, it was the darndest thing. Because <laughs> magic was involved. Of course. It, it was, it was absolutely mm-hmm. horrifying. At one moment, I was asleep and I was having dreams uh, uh, normally, you know, of, of yes. showing up to school without your pants on or uh, frolicking in a field with someone you once had a crush upon. Uh, Is that what humans have dreams about? Sure. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'd start bringing up my personal Ben Hamlin dreams, but they're weird. 
And then I had a dream where all of my teeth fell out and then my <laughs> nose it fell off completely. Uh, but then all of a sudden, the dreams, they got so much darker and I felt encased in almost solid... Uh, what is the word in your language? Gold? Emptiness. Mm. Void. I was just alone in the darkness and it terrified me to the very core. So you don't know who or what did that to you? You were just there? I, I promise you, it was as if I just got poofed out of this realm and into a realm of total darkness. Hey, Karen, how did you find this guy? Well, you see, I happen to have a rather, shall we say, tumultuous relationship with these Wendigo tieflings who like to think that they own the place. As if they could ever deal with this river by themselves. But, um, you see, I noticed that they had a prisoner that they were, you know, hauling around with them. And I stole him. Oh. Wait, hold up. Uh, but I... then I regret it because he's really annoying. I, I yeah. promise I did. Did you I... know he talks in his sleep? Oh, it doesn't surprise me. We didn't let him sleep close enough to hear it. He was like, ho ho, wee wee. <laughs> I swear to God, that's not my entire character. I That's am, not canon, I'm right. There is more dimension to me than just is French. Um, Frolicking. Frolicking. <laughs> but it was, it was weird. It was like, um... Something just took him away and then he was gone for a while and then he was forced to come back. I can't really explain it. I Wait. That's not my, my realm of expertise my apologies i do not mean to question you but you're saying that even when i was under your jurisdiction i disappeared again you disappeared and then came back with the norse there's definitely some kind of force that was i guess toying around with you whatever it is it shook me to my very being and i am i am uh, earnestly wishing that we will get out of this canyon as i no longer want to be here <laughs> hmm Believe me, the fact that you are a human who has survived this long, and he's like, he's moving the the raft as you all are talking. The fact that you even survived this is fairly impressive, you know, and he gestures um, kind of carelessly to the water where if you look down, you can see the ghostly hands of different corpses. As you can see, many before you have tried. <laughs> But it is my pleasure to be of service to you. Well, we'll get rid of the guy. Well, I, I certainly do not envy those that have failed. It is a fate I would not wish upon even my worst enemies. No. Which I have not because I'm insanely popular. I would say <laughs> not. They become, in, they become the inside? mere toys of the Wendigo tieflings. Yeah, see, that shit sucks. Oh, I believe you. That was a very poor insight roll. Well, the guy's popular. He says, <laughs> yeah, Bridget says I said it, so it's canon. <laughs> That's what you say in your sleep. <laughs> oh, no, my teeth fell out. <laughs> fell out. Uh, oh, no, my mini teeth. Yeah. <laughs> my teeth. teeth. My teeth. <clears throat> hey, uh, okay, so, hey, Shavala, you seemed to know that guy that attacked us. What the, what's the story there? Well. Yeah, what's the fuck is up, Kyle? <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> What the fuck is up, Kyle? Step the fuck up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Nikki and only Nikki. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I did. You see, I uh lived here in this area. You know, the gobbles of us. That's where I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> Truly? And everything. Who is there it? are those of you that make a home of this place? The one you go tiefling, for example, and many drow, which we, before we met you, we passed through the drow forest. That's where Shelda's from as well. Yeah. Uh, but I've been al alive for a long time, and uh, so I've, I've made it, you know, my journey to explore sometimes. And uh, I came across the Wendigo tieflings who have made various packs with the original. Um, the original? An ancient being. They're not sure. We're, nobody knows if it's a god or a demon or anything like that. It's just some kind of ancient entity a, the, that, at its very core, th through it, originated the power of necromancy, which is why all Wendigo tieflings have the ability 
to speak with and if they train and commit to the original can raise the dead wait aren't you a necromancer i am does that have anything to do with this other stuff well i'm not a wendigo tiefling or have any relation to them they're absolutely an insult to the craft that seems vaguely racist No, I'm talking from one necromancer to about another. I turned to Sarah. Is that vaguely racist? No, they're absolutely horrible. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Sarah made a gif of us. That's all. <laughs> it's just me saying my entire name. That's all. Sorry, as you were. There's, there's gifts of me now. Continue. So the this ancient creator of necromancy... That gives the, the Wendigo tieflings their power? Is that right? Yes, because a long time ago, you see, they were just tieflings. And, uh, but then they they made an, a pact with a ancient being who was neither infernal nor abyssal. And uh, they changed to meet, to uh, take the form of this being, which is why they look the way they do. Hmm. But I don't, so obviously I have no relation to them. <laughs> Awfully defensive. I don't think anybody was suggesting that, but... I, they were not a fan of the fact that I was also a necromancer and not one of them. And uh, we, we had a... Rivik and I had a... Relationship. Oh, sorry. Oh. thought you were going somewhere else. <laughs> no. I've only had one of those, and uh, they're not a Wendigo to like. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we'll, he's dead, so that's good. The world is better off without him. Weird wizard bastard. Well, I don't know about all of you, but I could go for uh, multiple naps in a row. <laughs> Maybe like eight hours of napping. Uh, how sure? long is it going to take us to get across this river? Um, you're almost at the end. No. Oh. It I would say like fifteen minutes it takes to cross. So we can't even swing this as a short rest. No, you have to get to the other side. Are we even safe down here? Is there any guarantee that we will not be attacked again the second we close our eyes? I do not want to return to the dark void, so I am not intending to sleep until we get several miles away from here. Well, it's we okay. Can always take watch and then not fall asleep during them. This is what I am said. Uh said who? Said Javala. No, that was in character. I've said who? I don't know. Well, said the person who It's okay. Asleep. The person that... Or, no, oh. you were talking and you keep fucking me up. I put my hand on your shoulder and I'm say... I'm a lot of positive affection today. <laughs> and say... French bastard. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever took you, we didn't... <laughs> I moved out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I was like, anyway, that's a dodge. I'm Katie Dodge. Sorry. Uh, so I put my hand on Hugo's shoulder and say, it's okay, whatever took you, we didn't see it, and we have no way of stopping it. So, <laughs> Hugo, Hugo, so if it comes again, you're fucked. So if it comes again, there's nothing we can do. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, Shavala leans in and is like, yeah, that's true. A lot of the things here in the Godless Abyss, you know, we can't see. They just kind of <laughs> affect us. So, you know, uh, there's really nothing we can do uh, to protect you, but I think you should go to sleep anyway. <laughs> At the start of your sentence, Hugo started nodding in agreement, and then once it turned south, he still kept nodding in agreement, but he had a frowny face on. <laughs> and then the frowny face deepened as you kept talking. So that would have just played out like... <laughs> so he's still nodding in agreement, but he doesn't like any of it. So um, eventually, you the raft bumps onto the shore of the other side. And you can you all push your carts off onto the uh, barren banks, the opposite banks of the river Styx. And Karen, uh, thanks, Karen. You're welcome. He gives you kind of like he doesn't have any facial features, but you think that if he did, he would be winking at you, like. What's up? Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, all my buddies now. Uh, can we hang out here for like two hours? Well, I, I have to go to the other side. That's my, that's my lot in life. I mean, I'm not really alive, but whatever. Oh, I'll take you to the other side. <laughs> you just hear Adele like. 
in your ear is like you're like a singing hello from me <laughs> but uh i mean i nothing really comes down here except for you know what's here already and he points to the corpses in the you will later if you play your cards right <laughs> i don't know what that means aren't Hang you still sore from the last night <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> i'm a professional i don't get sore <laughs> i'm going to go across the side to the other side of the river now Thanks, good Karen. Luck, good luck on your travels. And he turns around and starts boating his way to the other side again. I like your haircut, Karen. Call me. Thank you. Wait, I have no hair. <laughs> Wait, hold up. That's the thing that threw you off, not call me? <laughs> I don't really get reception here, but if you, know, if you ever... Message me. It's probably the canyon. Signals bounce all over. I don't have the spell sending. <laughs> that makes me sad. But you're so tall. <laughs> I'm sure maybe if you come across the way again, you'll see me again. Oh, oh I, I'll I come live across. Forever, so this is just where I hang out. You know where to find me. And he like <laughs> waves at you, and then I imagine across. this this whole conversation is like getting further and further away. We're just shouting louder and louder. You know where to find me. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always here. I'm always alive, and I'm always, always waiting. <laughs> Not necessarily for you, but this, such is my lot. <laughs> Just in that order. Um, me, ancient eldritch being that takes this form. Uh, so you all uh, are on the other side with your carts and everything. Are you going to take a long rest, or what are you going to do? What time of day is it? You can we even tell? tell? Oh, no. Everything is dark. It's like, <clears throat> even though there's like clear sky, like it looks up to the sky, there doesn't seem to be any sky at all. It's like a ceiling of... Uh, black or like gray clouds yeah, home sweet home i vote we take a long rest that is my opinion I'm going to agree i will keep watch okay so uh we're gonna watch. do who's uh keeping watch first hugo mm -hmm. okay who's second i'll take second okay then shava since i get four hours of sleep and i'm good there's four hours four hours of trance Okay, and um, I'll just have Shavala take the last watch. Unless someone wants to take it with them. I will take it with them just in case. Okay. God damn it. Um, you know, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> okay, Hugo, roll perception. What just happened there? I was looking at how big your dice are. Mm. <laughs> Those are some big dice. I they can are, actually they are, read that. Those are some nice dice. big dice. I just wanted to compare them. Well, all right. <laughs> I wanted to see how big your dice was compared to my dice. All right, good. <laughs> well, I think that we canonically know that they're a little bit smaller. <laughs> okay, they're significantly bigger, actually. <laughs> no, I meant Dareth's dice are a little bit smaller. <laughs> Dareth, that's his name. Um. All right, perception. Yep. Uh, that would be fifteen plus four, nineteen. Um, so as you, uh, sit on kind of the outside of where you guys have set up to sleep, um, everything <laughs> seems very quiet, still very oppressive, and you're left alone with your own thoughts, and it just brings you back to the feeling of being in the void. And the, the hand that you wield your rapier with is sore, and as you turn to look at it, there's, like, black... Um, coming up your veins and it stops about halfway up your forearm like where your veins are and um, doesn't go away it seems that fighting has caused the curse to spread because uh, previously where was it on my forearm it was it was just your it was just your hand mm. and now it's crawling up the network of your veins all right, then very quietly to myself, as my companions are obviously asleep, I just want to look. This cannot be a good sign. Um, other than that, everything is quiet. Nothing seems to uh, come out at you. It's just dark and lonely and oppressive. Uh, Shalva. 
Um, can we see Karen? Because we're just like on the bank of the river. Can we just see, you see him this, on the other you side? See this, you see he's like sitting on the edge of the dock with his like feet swinging on the edge of the dock. Very bored. That's hilarious. We're just like, you should have hey. just stayed with me, ancient Karen. Eldritch, ancient Eldritch being. Like, <laughs> should have just no stayed with me, Karen. And, like curly ears, just like a child on the end of the, just swinging his feet around. And he's like, eventually, uh, like every once in a while, you can see like a hand come up and he just swats it away. <laughs> he like kicks no. at it. <laughs> he's really bored. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I will roll. Well, I didn't fall asleep, but I didn't do great. Oh, that'd be a 10. I don't like that you just rolled something. I really don't like that. Um, you notice nothing during your watch. Cool. I wave at Karen a few times. He looks back. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we're, we're... He, like, seems to be chill that he made some friends. <laughs> <laughs> we're still right here. <laughs> He's, like, maybe also keeping an eye out for you. Maybe. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Shavala and Mural. So wait, have I gone to sleep then? Yes, you went to sleep. Okay. You switched watches with. <laughs> I got a 13 on perception. Total? Yep. Shavala got a 20, so. Um, Can I in canon be distracted by uh, urging Karen to come back over to him? <laughs> yes. I'll allow it, you horny bastard. <laughs> I roll. That should a, be a quote. Ooh, ooh. I'll allow it, you horny bastard. I roll a performance, and I got a twenty-two. He's sitting there on the edge of the dock, watching you. He doesn't go over though, cause, cause he doesn't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> God damn it, Karen! It seems like no one's ever flirted with him before. Maybe. He thinks that you're doing like some kind of like performance and he's very um entertained by it but doesn't know what it means. He doesn't know that you're flirting with him. God damn it. Uh but eventually Shavala um kind of uh like nudges at you. What? I'm dancing for Karen. I I see that you horny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I just feel like we're being watched. Yeah, probably by Karen, because I'm dancing. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. That's probably right. That's probably what it is. Yeah. God, you're so paranoid. I wonder if it's from like an entire lifetime of being watched and hunted. I have no idea what that's like. Yeah, you wouldn't. No, definitely not. Oh, how are you, horny bastard? Add it as an official quote. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, it's probably nothing. So, at the end, um, you all eventually come to consciousness. Your time of sleeping is like your internal body clock wakes you up. There doesn't seem to be any change in the time of day. Um, but you all wake up, you gather your things, and you start heading up. Um, you find... Uh, who's breakfast? first? Who's guiding? <laughs> who's what? Who's guiding? Um, driving or guiding? Like who's navigating? leading? Like navigating? Um, I think I'm the second best at it. I think Petros is the best at it. So if you want me to roll, I can do that. Let's see what Petros is. So I have a plus four to survival. Okay, you're the same as Petros. So go ahead and roll survival. Yeah, an unnatural twenty. Awesome. Uh, you um with your good eyes for, the, elf for eyes. your surroundings <laughs> what do your elf eyes see everything <laughs> you see a um that unlike the other side this side seems to have a more uh, natural incline um that suggests that people have traveled up it before maybe a very long time ago because it doesn't look it doesn't look well worn it looks like this hasn't been touched in a very long time but you are able to lead both carts up it and it takes a while but, um, and it's very steep, so it takes about an hour to get your carts up it. But when you do, um, you, you come over the crest, and um, there's just this vast expanse of 
cracked ground, very dry, like a gray desert. And um, you make your way through it. And um, are you guys going to do anything while you're traveling? I'm going to feed my kitty. You feed your kitty. He is very appreciative. I want to make sure you grow up big and strong. Meow. Oh, baby. He, like, pats you with his tongue. Ah! Johnny, Lord Almighty. <laughs> we get that you like this cat. I love him. Uh, I kind of awkwardly go over to wherever Sarah is and be like, so, are you going to stick with us? Or... I mean, I... I don't, I don't know. I hear there's a tiefling settlement not too far from here, since we're almost at, you know, the Tierra Diabolica. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll stay with them. I don't know. Cool. Well, we got you across, so. Yeah. Um, so you guys are almost across. I'll say that you, you, you rolled really high. If you hadn't, I would have given you advantage because Sara's with you. Hmm. But you rolled really high, so you I didn't need it. got it. it. Um, but let's say, we'll say she's helping with the, like, keep the bottom, the back going. So you guys navigate across this vast terrain of cracked earth, and eventually, um, it, small trees start poking up. But they're not, like, really trees. They're trees, but they're dead. And it seems like the only, the only things on them are, like, pine. Like, it's just pine needles. Um, there doesn't really seem to be much life. But the cracked ground starts to accrue sand, and eventually you're walking in, like, this rocky desert. And through the sky, or through the clouds, eventually the sun starts to poke through. Ugh. Um, Shavala pulls up their hood to get I out do the, the same. Sun. <laughs> you have your fancy hat. Oh, I do have a hat. I forgot. I forgot. It's like your defining character thing. It has a big hat. <laughs> yeah, a big hat. It has a big hat. I pull the hat down, like, to cover my face more. But soon, as you, as you come across, you, um, um, everyone roll perception. Uh, I also try and find something to, like, put on my head to fit in with everyone. Oh. <laughs> I got a natural 20. I got a 15. Uh, 16. Um, mural you see a glint of something in um, nearby. And then the rest of you slowly eventually come to realize that there are glints of metal all around you. Weapons. Can I go grab one and inspect it? No. I, are they being they, held by things? They're being held. I don't think that's oh. how this is working. Yeah. I thought um, you meant like in the sand. As soon as I see the first glint, I stand up and I'm gonna recast Mage Armor on myself if I don't already have Mage Armor and summon um, a longbow. That is a one. <laughs> God damn. Nothing bombs. So, uh... Uh, Hugo rears back his whip. You see, um, someone goes, Halt! Who goes there? My name is Hugo Charamino. This is Roberto Antonio Fontaine. Don't listen Hugo to him. Hugo does go there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, we are looking s simply for safe passage out of the canyon. You see, um, behind these, the large rocks and figures that you haven't seen before, tieflings, move out from behind the rocks they were hiding behind. They're dressed... Um, in in light clothing with um, lightly padded armor, and both of them are holding spears. There, uh, one of them has dark brown skin with horns curling behind his head and around his ears, and the other is a much younger tiefling with smaller horns that just come up on the front with dark blue skin. Um, both of them um, are clearly outfitted for a nomadic desert. Like as nomadic desert hunters, um, but they look at you very, very confused. Like clearly, they haven't seen travelers like this in a very either in a very long time or ever. I promise, we are simple travelers. We are just looking to get out of here. We mean truly no harm to any of you. 
You come from the godless abyss. Surely you must be monsters. I mean, we came from the other side of the godless, godless abyss, so, like, not monsters, just, like, folk from the other side, you know? Nikki, this is something I ought to know about your world. That there's Honestly. another half of the continent. Are there bridges? <laughs> not across the godless abyss. Okay, worth asking. Um, so... Would it be safe to say that they've noticed me, or could I crouch down a little bit and put my hat down and kind of... They've noticed all of you. Oh, damn. They've been following you. Damn it. Like, clearly I'm an elf. The islands are over there. That's where I came from. Elves don't come over here. Well, well I mean... clearly <laughs> they do, because I'm an elf and I'm here. And so, like, don't tell too. me what elves do, because I know what elves do. I am one. Well, do do you? We only see tieflings here. And, and not humans either. They always stay away. Well, I mean, oh, generally God, I humans wish. are terrible, but, like, I'm bringing him with me for a reason. We came from the other side. We're just trying to pass through and get to the northeast. We're going to have to have you guys come with us. This is just like when I got to the other side, when the humans took me in. Do you want to be as bad as the humans? Well, you guys are traveling and you've just come out of the godless abyss. From the other side of, not from, thank you. We're still going to have to take you to see the oracle. Ooh, who's the oracle? Are no, they cute? Go. Yes. <laughs> Was that in character? Well, if the... <laughs> no, I just followed Nikki's Twitter. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no metagaming. Bad. If the oracle's cute, I'm down. I wouldn't know. I would not. Do they have horns? All tiefling, all of us tieflings have horns. Are they taller with their horns? We are willing to no. do. We are willing. Take to me do. to them right away. <laughs> we are willing to do whatever it takes to get out of here safely. If that means meeting some sort of local administrator, I'm a okay with this. <laughs> Shavala kind of um, raises their hand and um, puts it on Hugo's shoulder and then holds up Hugo's hand to the tieflings and says, we have someone here who's cursed. The oracle can help us. Oh. Y yes. I Perfect. Sh surely she might be able to uh, help guide us in a way that we might be able to uh, get rid of this curse. Sure, I, I do not know if it is a curse so much as a minor skin condition, but perhaps <laughs> she could take a look and, 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 and assess with her magic eyes. He doesn't know how oracles work. Uh <laughs> I have some stuff that Oracle could take a look at as well. Johnny? Well, sh I, I... Keep it in she, your pants she doesn't, for you. She doesn't see quite like that. Cheval's just like, shut up, you fucking bastard. <laughs> you created this monster. I created many monsters in my life. Yeah, and fucked most of them. <laughs> so, oh, um, they, they... One of them takes the front, the other takes the back, and they lead you... Um, for about an hour and the sun the desert becomes more of an oasis there starts to be more palm trees sources of water um, and eventually you see m m more and more tieflings young tieflings older tieflings all with different different shades of skin but all of them darkened by the sun with their different kinds of um, horns each one of them wearing some kind of um, jewelry with uh, light clothing good for the summer weather <sighs> And they, um... Can I find... Like, I realize I'm wearing a hat to block the sun, but can I also find a blanket to put over the hat to... Yes. <laughs> you're finding yourself... You're finding that can. it's very warm inside that blanket. Uh, it's better than being in the light. Yeah, that's true. I let, it, I let it be flowy. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> but, um, they bring you into the shade of the, um... Of the oasis of the palm trees to where there is a series of many tents. Um... It's very clear that the society is more nomadic, that they uh, move based on probably whatever it is that they hunt for food. Um, and they take you, both of these tieflings take you to a, a tent that's larger than the others, one that's it's white with gold trim. Um, and they open the, um, the flaps to the tent to reveal someone sitting inside and that's where we're going to leave off for this week oh start in two weeks a, a shockingly early ending not really and you see <gasps> no. 
Dad? <laughs> Only... <laughs> Only like 15. No, no, I meant, I meant like right on the cusp of something happening. Is I know, but I'm yeah. saving this for Maddie. All right, that's fair. Hey, folks. I know Maddie's going to freak out. Hey, folks, this has been The Legends of Laia, an Infinity Break, an Infinity Break production produced by Nikki Boylan, Ben Hamlin, and Andrew Akel. I started reaching toward you when I said my name, so I guess I'm Andrew Akel now. Infinity Break. Infinity Break. <laughs> Go to hell. I, I don't that. like that you just re rolled something. Uh, with a story by the same said noted monster enthusiast, Nikki Boylan, featuring Johnny Ronaldo, Maddie Trumbull goes, who is not here, pour one out. Andrew Akel, and myself, Ben Hamlin. Once again, I pointed to you when I said my name, which means I'm <laughs> Nikki Boylan now. <laughs> As ever. Oh, boy. God, our, I hope not. Well, our uh, logo is by the incredible Andy Wilson, and our theme song is by Johnny Ronaldo, who also edits this show. Everyone say thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. As I've already said, this show is a product of InfinityBreak.net, where we tell stories our own way. Podcasts, webcomics, live streams, videos, and more are all available at InfinityBreak.net. If you like what you're hearing, please take time to follow this channel and be here next week for Speak of the Devil. Except not next week, because next week uh, there is no Infinity Break streaming. We are all off as we are going on a uh, group staff retreat of sorts. I don't yes. like that you're calling it a staff retreat. I've been calling it a staff retreat since the beginning. It is a staff retreat. It is quite literally all of the major producers. Yeah. Anyway, uh, where we will be talking strategy and more importantly playing tabletop for like 60 hours straight. Call, call us your friends, not your staff. We're it's work both. comrades. It's we are literally friends. both. We are work comrades. And work comrades only. No oh. friendship here. Okay. <laughs> That's a more offensive stance than anything I said. Yeah, my Obviously. feelings are legitimately hurt. I was um. only talking about Ben. Oh, all right. Yeah, Johnny, we're not going to talk about what we're doing that weekend. We can put the game down. Um, so we will not be uh, here next week, but we will be back in two weeks' time for, I believe, more Speak of the Devil content. Yes. Uh, you can follow us on social media at Infinity Break 23 on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for updates on all of your favorite shows and extra behind-the-scenes info about what we're doing here at Infinity Break. We have a Facebook group where we discuss all sorts of nerdery topics, so if you're into tabletop and comics, that's the place to be. Join the Infinity Loop today. It's just attached to our Facebook page. Right now, we are presently running a number of tournaments between the Avengers to decide who is the coolest Avenger. Not the most powerful, the coolest. MCU specific. MCU specifically, yeah. Tragically, we could not include comics at this point. Although, for the next one, perhaps I would be more than glad to do, like, I don't know, a comic book X-Men. Or could we, like, include some comics that I've read at some point? <laughs> oh, you should just read more comics. Uh, or we could include, like, anything on Image or Dark Horse or no, any number of funny. other comic book things that exist and are cool. I know, I know. Uh, right now, the current debate, although the poll is about to end, so please go uh, vote on Twitter and Facebook right now, is Ant-Man versus Captain America. Go, Captain. Go, Ant-Man. Go, go, neither. Oh, no. We get um, it, Sir Contrarian. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. No, I mean, there's MCU people Johnny, I like, Johnny, just neither Johnny, of them are those. Maybe. <laughs> um, anyway, and then the very next match is, depending on whether it's Twitter or Facebook, it's either uh, Hulk versus... Oh, no. I forgot who they're going up against. Well, it's Hulk and Falcon versus someone. I don't quite remember. Oh, a tag team match. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hey, real quick, for the players with online presences, where can we find you on Twitter.com? You can find me on Twitter at Byrogues. Because I'm a Byrogue. At Ander Epidemic. At Johnny Ronaldo. And I am Ben Hamill. That is B-E-N-C-H-A-M-L-I-N, where I'm always talking about comics, tabletop, and various IB happenings. Finally, if you like what we're doing, we have a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash infinity break, where you can start a monthly donation with us for as little as $1. As I talked about during our uh, little commercial break, uh, supporting us here at Infinity Break again as cheap as one dollar a month helps support all of IB shows and help improve the quality of this show and create more shows like it and you get access to all sorts of behind the scenes nonsense including extra analysis from the forces and men blooper reels from our various other programs including uh, Sneeple at the movies and Nikki's special homebrew information from Legends of Lydia the very show that you've just listened to right now we're trying to reach a certain Patreon goal at $150 a month which we are about halfway towards uh, we will be doing monthly live streamed one shots featuring and hosted by some of the very people at this table. We have made uh, certain promises in the past, but we will absolutely be doing uh, the wrestling RPG, for example, and people have been asking for Vampire the Masquerade. Um, so once again, that would be a fully live streamed one shot once every month, once we reach the $150 level. That is patreon.com forward slash infinity break. 
I think that's absolutely everything. Once again, this has been Speak of the Devil. Thank you very much for listening. This has not been Speak of the Devil. Wow. <laughs> wow. I forgot to change one part of the script. I think that's absolutely everything. Once again, this has been the Legends of Laia. Thank you very much for listening, and we will see you in two weeks' time for Speak of the Devil. Thank you sincerely, everyone, who managed to pop in for this one. This was a very chatty episode, and as we said during the commercial break, we appreciate that very much. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next time. And make sure